the game players dream of. One game, winner take all, to win the Frontier League Championship. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to a jam-packed bossy field for the final game of the Frontier League season. One game, game five of the Frontier League Championship Series between the Quebec Capitals and the Evansville Otter to decide the champion in 2023 of the Frontier League. Good evening, everyone. I'm Griffin Epstein on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports alongside our excellent ODN crew here at Bossy Field. It has been a riveting championship series between the Otters and the Capitals, and now it comes down to one game to decide the champion on a lovely Sunday evening from the River City here in Southwest Indiana. It's been a, a tale of who's been at home and who's been on the road, but three out of the four games in this series decided by one run. Quebec took the first two games on walk-off homers in the ninth inning. The Otters won in a blowout uh, in game three on Friday night here at Bossy Field, 14 to five. And then last night, well, what do you say? A 3-2 win last night for the Otters in big part to a air by Quebec. Evan Retschke, Quebec reliever, on the mound, two on, one out. Otters executed a double steal, trailing by one, but the Otters left early. Retschke stepped off, tried to throw to third to get out Josh Allen, but threw it behind the third baseman. Profar it rolled all the way to the wall. Allen scored to tie the game, and Baez came all the way around from first to score before a Capitol could get to the ball all the way at the wall, and that was how the Otters won yesterday, three to two in a tense pitcher's duel. Quebec was just five outs away from a championship and certainly a painful way for the Capitals to fall and force a winner take all game five on this Sunday night from Bossy Field. We'll introduce you to the starting lineup score tonight. First for the visiting Quebec Capitals. They're trying to win back to back Frontier League championships. They need a win tonight to do so. Ruben Castro's been a star all series for Quebec. He leads off and catches. David Glode bats second and plays second base. Greg Bird, the former New York Yankee, batting third and the designated hitter. TJ White in the cleanup spot and playing first base. Justin Gideon bats fifth and plays right field. Jeremy Profar batting sixth and playing third base. Bottom three in the Capitals lineup. Dresmuel Valentin, the shortstop. Jonathan Lacroix, the center fielder, batting eighth. And Tommy Seidel, the left fielder, rounds out the lineup for Quebec. It's a big deal, the pitching matchup, of course, in a winner-take-all championship game, and Quebec has to love who they have on the mound. Abdiel Saldana, the ace all season for Quebec, was brilliant in the regular season. 12 starts, 20 appearances, 7-2 with a 1.72 ERA and 78 and a third innings pitched. It is starting to rock at Bossy Field. Evansville trying to win their third Frontier League championship in franchise history and become the second most decorated franchise in the Frontier League. It is rocking here tonight at Bossy Field. Evansville, they have had plenty of success in the postseason. Evansville is 3-0 in the playoffs here at Bossy Fielding, including a walk-off for Kona Quiggle. A 15 to five win in game three, and then the win in game four. All right, time to meet the starting lineup for the Otters in front of the home faithful tonight. Noah Myers is the Edward Jones leadoff batter and playing center field for Evansville. Josh Allen bats second and plays second base. Kota Quiggle batting third and playing first base. Jeffrey Baez in the cleanup spot and playing right field for Evansville. Dakota Phillips bats fifth and catches. Gary Mattis batting sixth and playing left field. Yomar Reyes bats seventh to plays third base. Ethan Skinder batting eighth and the designated hitter. George Khalil rounds out the starting lineup for the Otters as the shortstop. On the mound today, this was the biggest decision of close to the coaching lives for the four-man coaching staff for the Otters, Andy McCauley and pitching coach Max Peterson. They go with the righty Parker Brahms on the mound. 
Brahms started the season as a starter, dealt with some arm issues. He hasn't made a start since July 30th, but he's been very good out of the bullpen in the postseason. Three appearances for Brahms. He's allowed five runs on five hits. He was dominant at Quebec in his appearance against the Capitals on Wednesday. Didn't allow a base runner through the first three innings, but in his fourth inning, struggled, ended up giving up four hits and three runs. How long does Brahms go in this game? Might be the biggest question and a big decider of this Frontier League Championship winner. Take all ball game. Capitals trying to become the fourth ever Frontier League team to win back-to-back -back titles, the Otters. Winners in 2006, 2016, now trying to win the championship in 2023. We'll pause for the national anthem. First pitch of a winner-take-all Frontier League championship game is next on the Honors Digital Network and Flow Sports. Well, there's been a lot of great crowds at Bossy Field this year, but there's nothing that compares to the atmosphere of tonight. Evansville, one game away from winning their third Frontier League championship game, back-to-back -back wins in Bossy Field, but Quebec trying to win game five and go back-to-back -back after two tough losses for the Capitals. Parker Brahms, the ready on the mound, resident of Sacramento now, grew up in Southern California, making his fourth appearance of the postseason we mentioned in the pregame show allowed four hits on three runs against quebec and three and two thirds but was perfect in his first three innings he's been great out of the bullpen for the most part for the otters he had a 17 inning scoreless streak that started in his last start on july 28th against new york and then came in into his first four appearances out of the bullpen including in the postseason around the diamond for brahms dakota phillips is catching for a second straight night kona quiggle at first, Josh Allen 
at second. George Kalil at short and Yomar Reyes at third base in the outfield. Gary Madison left, Noah Myers in center and Jeffrey Baez in right field. I believe this is the first time all season Andy McCauley has drawn up the identical starting lineup from one day to the next. There's no position changes, there's no lineup changes, everything identical for the Otters manager trying to win his second Frontier League championship. The sun is shining, wind is blowing out, there's barely a seat available in the house. And the Otters and the Capitals, one game after over 100 played this season to decide who wins the championship. Ruben Castro, lefty catcher, will lead things off for Quebec. Brahms is ready on the bump, and we are ready for baseball. Brahms on the right side of the rubber. Kicks and fires home. It's high, ball one, and we're underway. It's been great weather all weekend here in Evansville. 74 degrees, mostly sunny, scattered clouds. Sun is shining fully on the diamond at the moment. The 1-0. Misses low, two balls and no strikes to Castro. It is windy, I think the wind will play a factor in this ball game, 12 mile per hour winds, it's blowing out to right center. Ball could certainly carry today here in Evansville, even at a pitcher friendly ballpark. 2-0 count to Castro, Brahms home, fastball at the letters for a strike two and one. The shadows will play a factor as well for the first time in this series. A 5.05 start time here in Evansville. First two series, first two games in this series here started at 6.35, 2-1. A looper low. There's the curve from Brahms, missing in the dirt. 3-1 to Castro. The shadows right now, grandstand shadow is right, right in the middle between home plate and the mound. So the ball starting in the sun and then going into the shadows before reaching the plate. The rest of the field is in the sunshine. 3-1, fastball outside, ball four to Castro. Maybe some early nerves for Brahms. That is Parker's first walk he has thrown since August 22nd. He's gone 15 and two-thirds straight innings without walking a batter. But a leadoff walk here to Ruben Castro. So Castro at first, it brings up David Glode, the second baseman. Another lefty batter for Brahms to face. Three lefties stacked at the top of the lineup for the fifth straight night in this championship series for Patrick Scalabrini. First pitch from Brahms in for a strike at the top of the zone, 0-1. Three of the four games in this championship series have been decided by one run. I have a feeling we have another close one to the finish tonight. Lock in, this is gonna be fun, 0-1. Breaker misses outside. One ball and one strike to the lefty Glow. Castro at first in the top of the first, just underway. Game five, winner take all of the Frontier League Championship Series. Quebec first took the first two in Canada, Evansville. The two here so far at Bossy. Brom steps off, pick off, throw back to first. Castro, Castro easily back to the back. Brahms working on the right side of the rubber. Nods and throws. Curve misses high. Two balls and one strike. It's Mike Fitcher behind home plate today. Jim Shaley was behind the plate yesterday. He's at third. And the crew chief, Mike Weinstein, is over at first base. First time that Fitcher is behind the plate in this series. Getting the nod and certainly one of the biggest games he's umpired in his life. 2-1 home. Fastball high. Three balls and one strike to Glow. Parker Brahms, out of a calm, calm guy as it gets. This is the biggest appearance of his life. 3-1, fastball, catches the outside. Black, get a full count to glue. Second year here in Evansville for Brahms. And his first start since July 28th. He's made it six straight appearances out of the bullpen. Full count to Glode, he steps off first, pick off throw back. Castro steps back on the bag. Two disengagements now in the bat for Brahms, so he can't throw over to Castro, who can take a big lead. 
Quebec, not a steel happy team, and they haven't taken too many chances in this series. Just a true side lead at first for Castro. Payoff foam, high ball four. Back to back walks to start for Quebec. Castro aboard at second, loaded first. Phillips walking in front of home plate. A quick word towards Brahms and the rest of the outers infield. Third straight lefty for the righty to face. How about this? The Otters bullpen is going to start getting people moving right away. There's a bullpen catcher moving down and arms moving around. It looks like John Beamer is going to start throwing. Two on, nobody out for the former New York Yankee, Greg Bird. Big lefty takes a first pitch curveball at the knees for a strike. Go one. In the regular season, the Otters won five of the six games that Brahms started. 0-1 count to Burr. Brahms looks back at second and fires home. Big looper misses outside. One and one. This is a small strike zone to start the game for Mike Fitchner. Brahms look back out into center field. Trying to find an early rhythm. Sun. Bouncing into his eyes. So looks in for the sign from Phillips. The 1-1. One -one. Fouled straight back. That's the first time Quebec swung at a ball. A lot of takes early. Capital starting patient. Quebec two walk-offs. John Beamer warming up in the honors bullpen. Two walk-offs for Quebec in games one and two in Canada. Blowout win for the Otters, hitting six home runs on Friday. And the 2-1 win last night. 1-2, grounded right side. Over is Quiggle to glove. Throws to second in time. Back to first, not in time. One out and runners on the corners for Quebec. First out for the Otters. Chopper to Quiggle and took the force at second. The relay back to first, nowhere near in time. So fielder's choice, 3-6. Bird at first, Castro at third, blow the runner out. At second, TJ White, first righty for Brahms to face. Righty first baseman, fourth year Capital. Runners on the corners, one out top of the first. Brahms home. Looper misses low, one and oh. Jam packed bossy field. A nervy start to this ball game for the Otters. John Beamer continuing to throw in Evansville's path. 1-0. Check swing by White off the inside of the bat. Into the dugout for Evansville. Well, Quebec, even after losing both games so far here at Bossy, likes their chances in this game because they have their ace going in Abdiel Saldana. While the Otters have used their top two starting pitchers and Tim O'Gray for on Friday, and then Braden Scott last night. 1-1 one, one count to White. Brahms rocking back and forth, kicks and fires. Fastball high, two and one. No score, top of the first. Runners on the corners with one out. Do one count to White. Brahms home. Looper on the inside black. Two and two. That was a big strike there for Brahms. Three years at Sacramento State. He's been in the Pirates organization and the Reds organization. Hard to find a moment bigger than this for Brahms. Two, two. Fastball inside. It Hit off the inside of the bat of White. It's foul. Checked his swing. I think it hit right off the butt of the bat. <laughs> 21st pitch of this first inning coming up for Brahms. 2-2 to White. Kick and a fire. Swing and a miss. Change up in. Strikes out White. First German American makes strikeout of the night for Brahms, and boy, is it a big one. Two away. And 
and a chance here for Brahms and the Otters to escape the top of the first without a run coming across. Boy, would that be a victory. Justin Gideon digs in, lefty right fielder for Quebec. First four games of this series, he's batted in the two hole for the Capitals, but here in game five, Patrick Scalabrini moving him back in the lineup to the five spot. First pitch, swing and a miss. Ball trickles to the left of Phillips. Not onto the grass and both runners stay put. Gideon struck out three times today as two hits with two runs in the two games here at Bossy Field. Putting the walk-off home run in game one of this series for Quebec. Ready pitcher facing lefty batter. 0-1. Grounded a high chopper up the middle. Back is Josh Allen to glove it. Tosses to second. Khalil can't get his foot back on the bag on the wide throw. And Castro scores to make it 1-0 Quebec. Capital strike first at the top of the first. A really high chopper took the second baseman Allen all the way back to the right field grass. Off balance, tried to go with the force at second instead of going to first. If the throw was accurate, it might have been Bird there. But Khalil had to hop up to get the ball. By the time he landed back on the bag, Bird slid in safely. So one nothing Quebec, runners at first and second with two outs. And here's Jeremy Profar takes the pitch high. Gideon will get credit for a single. First hit of the night for Quebec. Two walks, a fielder's choice and a single, scratching across a run for the Capitals in the first. 1-0. Broken bat flare right side over Khalil. And the shortstop makes the catch behind the second base bat. The Capitals get a run in the first. Two walks, Gideon and an RBI single. See the Otters offense for the first time on the other side. One nothing, Capitals. Bottom one on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. Bottom of the first in the winner take all game five of the Frontier League Championship Series between the Otters and the Capitals. One nothing Quebec, we go to the bottom of the first. And Quebec Saints on the bump tonight. Abdiel Saldana made the start in game number one of this series back in Quebec on Tuesday. Really felt like the Otters did the best they could against Saldana, ended up getting two earned runs on four hits, two walks and five strikeouts and six innings pitch for Saldana who has been electric all season long for Quebec. He was the best pitcher numbers wise in the second half in the Frontier League. Could have easily won Frontier League Pitcher of the Year. Around him on the diamond, Ruben Castro catching for a third or uh, every game in this Frontier League series. TJ White at first, David Bloat at second. Jesmo Valentin at short and Jeremy Profar at third in the outfield. Tommy Seidel in left, Jonathan Lacroix in center, Justin Gideon in right, no changes around the diamond for Quebec in any game in this series. Saldana in 78 and a third innings pitch allowed just 15 earned runs all season, 12 starts, 20 appearances. The talented Panamanian righty, he's a contact pitcher. He's gonna frustrate you. 63 strikeouts to just 19 walks and 78 and a third in the regular season. Noah Myers, front dealer, rookie of the year, digs in, lefty batter, takes the first pitch low for a ball from Saldana. A normal rest, Tuesday start, now a Sunday start. 1-0 is flied high in the air right side, well foul. Drifting out onto the concourse, 1-1 one -one to Myers. Saldana's third start of the postseason, pitch four innings against New Jersey in game one of the East Divisional Series. 1-1, one -one. at the knees for a strike one and two. Saldana allowed just one run in four innings pitch there before that game was delayed by rain and finished the next day. One, two from the righty in the dirt and the feet of Myers. Two balls and two strikes. One nothing Quebec, bottom one. 
one game to decide the Frontier League Championship. 2-2. Slice right side and going foul. Four thousand six hundred and thirty-two fans yesterday at the ballpark, or on Friday, I should say, twenty-four hundred yesterday. Here's the two-two inside, and Myers works it full. There may be even more fans here today, close to five thousand. One of the biggest parks in the Frontier League is jam-packed, trying to see the Otters win a championship. Payoff foam popped up by Myers on the infield. Left side, Profar, the third baseman under the baseball, makes the catch on the edge of the infield grass. One out. Uniforms for today, same for Quebec. All three games here at Bossy, all grays for the Capitals. Quebec written in navy blue across the chest. Yellow outline with navy blue numerals on the back and the front blue piping on the top of the jersey. All gray pants with no piping. Navy blue hat with the yellow Q on the front. One out for the ready, Allen, who takes a first pitch outside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Otters in blue tops with Otters written in white script across the chest. White numerals on the back, navy blue belt, and white pants. 1-0, oh. swing and a miss, fastball in, and Allen taking a hefty hack. 1-0 Quebec. Parker Brahms walked the first two batters of the game. And two out RBI single by Justin Gidea. A ball that never left the infield, but the Otters couldn't get the out scoring the first run of the game. Allen takes inside 2-1. John Beamer was warming up in the bullpen for the Otters with Brahms in a little bit of early trouble, but everyone has since sat down. 2-1, swing and a miss. 2-2 two two to Allen. I think the pitching approach for the coaching staff is very different today. Quebec. Wants to ride their ace, Saldana. They trust him. He's been great all year. As long as he can go, they're going to rely on the Panamanian righty. 2-2. Grounded hard up the middle. Racing over to his right. Valentin, the shortstop. Gloves throw to first. Beats Allen by half a step. Two outs. For the Otters, Brahms likely not able to go more than 60 or 70 pitches at max with the arm issues he's dealt with this season. Evansville pretty much willing to throw anyone out there in any situation. There's no games left. This is it to try to win a championship. First pitch to Quiggle misses low, 1-0. But the two guys not available for the Otters are the two best starters. Pretty much everyone else for the Otters outside of Hull Grafer and Scott we could see in this ballgame. 1-0 from Saldana, fastball high. 2-0 to the lefty first baseman, Quiggle. Two outs, nobody on. one nothing Quebec in the bottom of the first. Saldana turns and fires. Another breaker, misses high. 3-0. 5'11", 195 on the mound for Saldana from David Panama. Eight of his 12 starts in the regular season were quality outings. 3-0, fastball wide, ball four. Donna completely lost Quiggle. Four pitch walk. The Otters have their first base runner. Quiggle at first with two outs and Jeffrey Baez. Otters right fielder steps to the plate. Third-year Otter and All-Star trying to win his first Frontier League crown. Pitch home, Baez takes low 1-0. It's been a great postseason for Baez, hitting 286 in eight games in the postseason. Five runs batted in. Ready on righty matchup, Saldana working out of the stretch and home. Breaking the ball high, and Saldana frustrated. Keeps his head down in defeat. Scraping at the dirt mound. This has been just something that looks like it's bothered Quebec pitchers, especially Steven Fuentes, also a pitcher from Panama, the starter for Quebec on Friday. Just really struggled to find his literal footing on the mound. 2-0, catches the inside corner for his strike, 2-1. and one. All natural surface here at Bonsey Field compared to artificial turf at the Stade Canuck. And almost every field in the Frontier League is artificial turf. Only four fields in the league are all natural. 2-1. 
Sails high, three balls and one strike to Baez. Saldana steps off the mound, takes a little bit longer to climb up onto the hill. Big deep breath and gets the sign from Castro. Winds and fires, Baez pops it up on the infield, foul territory. Castro, the catcher back, makes the two-handed grab along the warning track. Saldana in Quebec works around a walk in the first. It's 1-0 Quebec after one inning played in game five of the Frontier League Championship Series on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. Frontier League Baseball on Flow Sports is presented by Budweiser, the king of beers. The king of the Frontier League will be decided tonight. Winner take all game five of the Frontier League Championship Series between the champs of the East, the Quebec Capitals, and the champs of the West, the Evansville Otters. one nothing lead for Quebec after one inning play. Parker Brahms will face the bottom three in the lineup for Quebec. Jesmil Valentin leading off for the Capitals. Takes a first pitch changeup on the outside corner for a strike. Lefty shortstop facing the righty Brahms. Parker walked the first two batters of the first. Settled down after that, but Gideon had an infield single to score a run for Quebec. A one. Sliced right side, fair ball, playing it back on a hop. The first baseman Quiggle, a race to the bag, and easily beat Valentin there, one away. John Beamer's back up in the Otters' pen and working. Really watching the action right now. I think He got warm and he got full hot in the first inning. He's ready to go if Brahms falters. Brahms, who's been dominant, especially in stretches for the Otters in this postseason, in the regular season end of the bullpen, hoping to find his rhythm now. First pitch to Jonathan Lacroix. Lefty center fielder taking low for a ball, 1-0. Bromson is outing at Quebec. He retired the first eight batters he faced. 1-0 home. Hit hard right side over Allen's head and into right field, base hit. Barreled up by Lacroix. A one-out base hit here in the second. Both offenses quiet last night, just a combined 12 hits and a 3-2 win for Evansville. It's the opposite of game one here at Bossy. A 25 combined hits and a 14-5 win for the Otters. Quebec off to a good offensive start. Good at bats, and now two hits. Tommy Seidel, right-handed left fielder digs in. Brahms home, curve on the inside corner for a strike going one. A quad first, one out, top second, one nothing Quebec. Griffin Epstein here on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports alongside our director Ian Klingler and our excellent Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports crew. A one, grounded left side and foul, low and two. Sun has just peaked back behind the clouds, so we're in the shadows at the moment. Sun lights will certainly play in effect tonight. 
sunshine for the first half of the ball game and the shadows and dust for the second half of this championship ball game. 0-2 to Seidel. Fastball tight. One and two. Sun has just peeked out. The shadows are creeping across the front of the mound. Right at Brom's feet. Taking off Lacroix, Seidel swings and drives one deep to right. Back is Baez looking up, it's gone. Tommy Seidel, a two run homer. It's three, nothing, Quebec in the second. Second home run of the postseason for the rookie from Alabama. First home run Brahms is allowed since June 25th. That one clobbered by Seidel. It sailed over the Corona Extra patio deck in right field. A wind blowing out to right center. Helped carry that ball out in a hurry. First pitch to Ruben Castro. Misses outside, 1-0. Castro led off the ball game with a walk, came around to score the first run for Quebec. The 1-0 on the outside corner for his strike, one and one. Quebec had not led by more than one run in either of the two games here at Bossy Field. Off to a 3-0 start tonight. The 1-1, one -one misses side, two balls and one strike. Evansville's made a habit of come from behind victories here in the postseason. Brahms at the chest and home. On the outside corner for his strike. Back to the changeup, two and two. Two, two. Slice left side and drifting out of play. All five wins for the Otters in this postseason. They've trailed at some point in that game. Three nothing lead for Quebec in the top of the second. A packed bossy field still waiting to find something to cheer about. Two two, slice left side. Drifting out of play. Beamer still warming in the Otters bullpen. Kevin Davis. He's not throwing for the Otters. He's just standing on the top of the second rubber in the pen and holding a ball. But there's no catcher there to catch him. So it's just Beamer. 2-2. Two -two. This is low and a full count to Castro. This feels like the command's not been there so far tonight for Brahms and problems from that have followed. It's 41st pitch here of the night coming. Payoff home. Chopped right side down the first baseline. Brahms fields it, underhand toss to first for the second half. Castro rolling over a baseball. Two away in the second with the bases empty. Three nothing Quebec on a two run homer by Tommy Seidel. David Glode walked back in the first inning. Moved up in the lineup today for Quebec. One of the elder leaders of the Capitals from Quebec City. Likely in the twilight of his career, trying to go out with a championship. First pitch home from Brahms, bounces around home plate for a ball, 1-0. Quebec trying to go back to back. Become the fourth team in Frontier League history to win back-to-back -back championships. Schomburg last accomplished the feat. 1-0. Hit hard and high, right side, Baez back, it is out of here. Glowed goes yard, 4-0 Quebec. My goodness. 
No home runs for Quebec in the first two ball games here at Bossy Field. They go yard twice in the second, and that's going to do it for Brahms. He has been so sharp all season for the Otters. Did not have it tonight. John Beamer is going to come into the ball game for Evansville. Four nothing. Quebec leads in the top of the second. Two outs. Be right back on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. Back at Bossy Field, still at the top of the second, 4-0 Quebec in the winner take all game five of the Frontier League Championship Series. John Beamer in for Parker Brahms to try to get the last out of the second inning. Beamer pitched on Friday night in this series, allowed two hits, one run, one strikeout in an inning pitched in 21 pitches. Just his third outing of the postseason. He pitched three and two thirds, really good innings at Gateway in Soge, Illinois last Saturday. Just one hit allowed. Three strikeouts and three and two thirds innings pitch. It's the Swiss Army knife for the Otters bullpen. He's been a long reliever, that's gonna be his role here. He's been a high leverage guy, a closer, a starter. He's gonna try to settle down the Otters in this ball game and keep the lead at just four. First pitch to Greg Bird is popped up into shallow right. Back Josh Allen, the second baseman, will call everyone off and make the two-handed grab. One pitch, one out to end the second for Beamer. Tommy Seidel, a two-run homer. David Glode, the Quebec City native with a solo blast. And it's 4-0 Quebec, middle second on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. Bottom of the second, winner take all. Game five of the Frontier League Championship Series, four nothing, Quebec leads. Dakota Phillips leads off for the Otters in the bottom of the second. Takes the first pitch low for a ball. This is the biggest lead for the Capitals in any game 
in this five-game series. 0-1. All-star catcher takes high and away, one and one. Sun is back out, and shadows are right at the waist of Saldana. Ball is still just barely starting in the sun before in the shade. The 1-1, one, one. best ball on the outside corner, 2-1. and one. And It's right in the eyes of the middle infield for Quebec. Just well, Valentin, the shortstop, trying to shade the sun with his glove. 1-2, breaker misses low, two balls and two strikes. It's been a short time so far for Abdel Saldana on the bump. Quebec Ace starting in this winner-take-all championship game. Struggled with his command a little bit in the first. 2-2. Hit hard left side, but foul. Just to the left of the third base bag and skipping up into the stands. Walked Kona Quiggle and then fell behind Jeffrey Baez 3-1 before Baez popped out. Two-two count to Phillips. Saldana sized the shoulders and delivers. Low. Phillips works it full. The Otters mantra in this series, it's made them very successful. Long at bats. Walks, foul balls, just wearing down a really good Quebec pitching staff. Really the exception was last night. The Otters offense struggled. Payoff home. Swing and a miss. Change up from Saldana is a beaut. One away. First strikeout for Saldana. Comes up Gary Mattis. What a series it's been for Mattis. The Otters go on to win today. He might be the favorite for series MVP. First pitch to the righty. Strike at the knees, another changeup. Ready on ready matchup. Mattis hitting 429 through the first four games of the series. Six hits, five runs, and six driven in. Has at least a hit in every game. Two multi-hit games for Mattis. The 0-1 is fouled right side. 0-2 to the Davy Florida native. O2 home. Swing and a miss. Change up by Saldana is filthy. Two away. Two outs. Nobody on for Yomar Reyes. Back to back strikeouts on the changeup for Saldana. What a. Strange start to this ball game for Evansville. Pitch home, in for a strike to Reyes. Such electric energy all day here at the ballpark. Different vibe than anything all season. 0-1, fouled right side, 0-2. So many Otters fans that follow the team all season long on a Sunday evening. There's not typically a lot going on. They have packed the ballpark, and Quebec has thrown a huge first punch, and there's just shock right now in this park. 0-2, swing and a miss. Fastball strikes out Reyes, and Abdiel Saldana strikes out the side in the second inning. After two, 4-0 Quebec. A winner take all, game five of the Frontier League Championship Series on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports.
Two innings complete in game five of the Frontier League Championship Series. The championship trophy is here. It will be handed out in a matter of hours. Four nothing lead for Quebec over Evansville. Parker Brahms making his first start since late July. Was unable to find his best stuff today. Started his outing with two walks. Justin Gideon had an RBI infield single in the first. And then the long ball for Quebec that's been absent for them. Carried them in their wins on Tuesday and Wednesday. Quebec didn't hit a home run through the first two games in Evansville. Tommy Seidel had a two-run blaster right. And David Glode followed with a solo homer for a 4-0 lead. John Beamer got Greg Bird out on the very first pitch. Bird saw start the second. And Beamer's first pitch to TJ White misses inside for a ball. Ready pitcher facing ready batter. Beamer turns and fires. Check swaying off the end of the bat of White. It's the second time today that's already happened to White. One and one. Shadows have crept over the hill. Just bouncing in sun right now off the top of the hat of Beamer. One, one home. Curveball inside. Two and one. Beamer had a 3.88 ERA in the regular season. 67 strikeouts to 32 walks. 58 innings pitched. 2 1 home. Foul tipped back. Off the chest protector of Phillips and under his legs, 2 and 2. Beamer started the season really well, as did a lot of members of the honors bullpen. 10 and a third straight scoreless to start the season. And a couple blips for Beamer in the back half. At his best, he's an outstanding pitcher. 2-2 two -two is another check swing foul by White. Can't believe he's done that three times already today. Signed by the Brewers last year. Pitched a few games in the Arizona Complex League with Milwaukee's organization. 2-2 two -two home from the righty. Slice foul left side. Hopkinsville, Kentucky, just an hour and a half south of Bossy Field. Page Brown glove for Beamer. Dips down to the belt and fires. Fastball misses high. And a full count to White. It's been a small strike zone so far for Mike Fitcher. Sa Sal Saldana has... Saldana, Saldana has, here comes the payoff low. Quite works a walk. I, I just gotta say it, it's the last game. I don't, I don't understand when, when broadcasters are, are on the air and they're clearly talking and then people come up and just try to start a conversation or ask you a question. I'd love to talk to you and help you. I just cannot help you when I'm talking on the air. Thank you for letting me vent for five seconds. It's not just me. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand why people do it. But I hope if you're tuning in now, you you know if a broadcaster's on the air, they can't talk to you. So a walk to White first pitch home to Jitty, and it hits his foot. My goodness. So White working a walk on the payoff. Jitty and a hit on a curveball that hit his foot on the very first pitch. And things are going from poor to bad to worse for the honors. White at second, Jitty in at first. There's not a game in this playoffs where the Otters have faced a big lead, like the big deficit like this. Only time the Otters didn't lose a game, did, lost a game by. More than a run was against Gateway in a game that was a two-run ball game into the eighth until Gateway scored eight runs in an inning to end up winning 15-5. to five. Now there was two other losses in the playoffs, both to Quebec, seven, six walk-off losses. This is not uncharted territory for Evansville this season, but in the playoffs it is. Meeting concludes, Beamer back on the bump to face Jeremy Profar, shows bunt, pulls it back, and takes low one and up. White at second, Gideon at first. Nobody out in the top of the third. Four, nothing Quebec. One game for the championship. It's been all Capitals early. 1-0, bunch shown again, pulled back. And misses low, 2-0. 
Johan Castillo. Oh, lefty is now starting to throw in the Otters' bullpen. Evansville is just looking for someone right now that can be effective. Zach Smith might be another option for the Otters. Started on Wednesday. 2-0. Hit into center. Back is Myers at the track. Going back. Leaps off the wall. Can't make the catch. All the Capitals had to hold, and White will just go down to third. Everyone going station to station. It's as long as a single as you'll get by Profar, and the bases are loaded. Myers leaps. That is such a tough catch. Looking back into the sun against the ivy-covered wall, and it bounced right above his glove. So White at third, Ginny in at second, Profar at first. Ends up Jesmuel Valentin. Lefty grounded to first, back in the second. Beamer readies at the belt. Kicks and fires. Fastball on the outside, corner 01. Beamer comes home, swing and a miss. That's the good stuff, a sinker by Beamer falling out of the zone. Castillo with southpaw, could be effective for the Otters. The heavy lefty lineup for Quebec. He hasn't pitched in the postseason. He's a young rookie, just signed by the Otters in early August. O2 home, swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back sinkers from Beamer. Valentin way ahead. A big first out here in the third. 4-0 Quebec, bases loaded, one out. Capitals trying to take a huge early lead in the final game of the Frontier League season. Jonathan Lacroix singled back in the second. Stands to the plate, another lefty for Beamer to face. He twirls home, check swing, ball in the dirt. He went around, Phillips over to his right to quickly pick up the ball. White at third, Ginny in at second, Profar at first. Four runs on five hits for Quebec. The Otters, it feels like, have barely had any time on the offensive side of things. Javier Saldana has retired Six of the first seven he's seen. A one. Breaker misses low. Back to the sinker. One and one to Lacroix. Phillips is going to jog out and chat with John Beamer. Otters made the decision to throw Braden Scott yesterday on short rest. He would have been in line after starting game one on Tuesday to pitch on Sunday night. The Otters in an elimination game yesterday using Scott. And the big question was, if the Otters got to a game five, how would they match up the pitching? The 1-1, one, one. sinker at the knees for a strike one and two. So far, it's been a struggle for Evansville. Quebec countering with their ace, Abdel Saldana. Four-man rotation for Quebec. One, two, that right side foul. I can hear you on your hands make some noise. <laughs> one, two count to Lacroix. Base is juiced in one out in the top of the third. Four, nothing Quebec. The Otters looking for a spark. Beamer home. Low, two and two to Lacroix. Hoping Lacroix would bite on the sinker. Two, two home. Hit hard into the air to right. Racing back, Baez over his head and off the base of the wall. This should clear the bases, one run across, a second coming home, the throw not in time, six, nothing Quebec. 
two RBI double by LaCroix. Baez is down on a knee in right field. Now slowly getting back up over his head and off the base of the wall. White scoring, it was a good relay in. But Gideon way ahead of the tag from Phillips. Profar holding it third. Six to nothing, Quebec. This is the biggest lead for either team in this series. Runners at second and third, a one out, and Tommy Seidel already has a two-run home run today to the plate. Beamer home. It's low, one and out. This could have not started any worse for Evansville. After a thrilling win last night on a stunning air by Quebec, a pickoff throw gone bad, scoring two unearned runs in the eighth inning, helping the honors to a 3-2 win. Seidel takes a sinker on the inside corner for his strike one and one. What's impressed me about both of these teams in this series is their resiliency. Some just horrible catastrophes occurring on both sides. And both teams have bounced back so well. One, one, misses outside. Two balls and one strike. And if the Otters are to bounce back from the six run deficit and come to win the championship. It will be the ultimate show of resiliency. Evansville walked off in the ninth inning blowing leads on back to back nights in games one and two in Quebec and then Capitals five outs away from winning it last night before the throwing air by the relief pitcher Evan Retschik. Six nothing Quebec, two on count to Seidel. Middle infield in on the grass for the Otters. Pitch home. Fouled straight back off the screen. Two and two to Seidel. No one Castillo still warming in the Otters pen. Three straight lefties coming up after Seidel. Still only one out here in the third. Beamer will step off. Brahms never looked comfortable in his start, and it's been tough setting for Beamer as well. The standing started with a walk and a hit by pitch. Profar a single off the wall in center, and then Lacroix hammering a double off the wall in right to score two. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Sinker strikes out Seidel, two away. Two away, and it will indeed be the lefty Castillo coming in to face the lefties now coming up in the lineup for Quebec. John Beamer gets three outs, but allows two runs here in the third, and Evansville making its second call to the bullpen. Yoan Castillo will make his first appearance of the postseason for the Otters. It's six nothing Quebec, two outs, two on. Game five of the Frontier League Championship Series.
Back at Bossy Field, top of the third inning, still in game five of the Frontier League Championship Series. Six to nothing, Quebec. The lefty Johan Castillo, rookie pitcher from Southern California, will make his first appearance of the postseason. He was a late addition by the honors right before the transaction deadline. Late addition, late addition for an injury. Five appearances in the regular season, 15 innings pitched. He was really good, 3.60 ERA, 15 strikeouts. Just 18 walks. His last appearance was two weeks ago to the day, September 3rd, in the last game of the regular season. Lefty to face Ruben Castro. The first pitch home misses low for a ball. Went three innings against Schomburg. Allowed just one hit, one walk, and three strikeouts. 1-0 from Castillo. Big bender on the outside corner for a strike, one and one. Six, nothing Quebec. Runners at second and third with two outs here in the third. One one from the southpaw. Fouled straight back. One and two. Two seam fastball, change up in slider for Castilla. At the belt and home. Fastball outside, two balls and two strikes. Graduated from Georgetown College, NAIA school in Kentucky this past spring. First team all conference. Size the shoulders and home. Big Bender misses high, and a full count to Castro. Third at pitcher, used by the Otters. Still in just the top of the third, Quebec has scored six runs to take a 6-0 lead. Payoff home. Chop softly right side. In Josh Allen to field it. Throw to first in time to get Castro. Castillo gets the last out of the third inning, but two more come across for Quebec. Jonathan Lacroix, a two-RBI double to make it 6-0 Capitals. And if the Otters are to win the championship, they will need to come from behind from their biggest deficit this season. Middle third, 6-0 Quebec on the Honors Digital Network and Flow Sports. Bottom third from a shocked bossy field. Six nothing, Quebec leads. Trying to win the Frontier League Championship. They have the biggest lead of any team in what's been a very tight series. Little separating the Capitals and the Otters trying to win the Frontier League trophy. Abdel Saldana has barely felt like he's been on the mound today. 34 pitches, he's allowed just one walk. He struck out the side in the second. Quebec has scored in the first three innings. Taking nearly an hour, probably about 45 minutes of the first hour of baseball. Been with Quebec, pitch Quebec at bat. See how Saldana does after another long wait. Ethan Skinder making his first at bat of the day. Otters designated hitter batting eight. Long ways back for the Otters, but plenty of time to do so. Just the bottom of the third. A team that's never blinked after being punched in the face. First pitch to Skinder. Fastball at the top of the zone for a strike, going one. Saldana home. A change up, sails high. One ball and one strike to Skinder. Abdiel Saldana, ace for the Capitals. 
Turns, kicks, and fires. Skinder swings, hits one hard to right, back Jidian reaching up and making the backpedaling catch one away. Not easy for the right fielder fighting the sun. Hey, wanna make your lawn and landscape look like a field of dreams? Make sure you use 10 Bars Professional brand products. Pick them up at any of our three locations, beautifying the communities we live in and the grass we walk and play on, all since 1940. Big thanks to 10 Barge and their sponsorship and all the great work they do at Bossy Field all year long. George Khalil, righty batter, stands in. Takes a first pitch strike at the knees. Bossy Field crowd getting a little frustrated with Mike Fitchers at a small strike zone all night, but calling a strike there on a pitch low. The 0-1 hits Khalil. A curve hitting the left shoulder. The number nine batter in the outer's line. Open Evansville has their second base runner of the game. Otters need a spark. This crowd needs a spark. If anyone would do it, it would be the Frontier League Rookie of the Year. The heart and soul for Evansville. Myers back-to-back -back nights entering tonight with a home run. He led off Friday's game with a solo blast and hit a solo home run to lead off the third inning yesterday. Saldana home, Myers takes low, one to know. Myers flew out on the infield to the third baseman, Profar. Khalil at first with one out. Six, nothing, Quebec. Saldana readies and fires. Fastball at the knees for a strike, one and one. 41st pitch of the night for the ready Saldana. Ready pitcher facing lefty batter, the 1-1. One, one. Change up at the knees for his strike, one and two. Boy, has that been a fantastic pitch so far tonight for Saldana. One, two, home. In the dirt, bounces away from Castro down the third baseline, and Khalil races to second without a throw. Wild pitch in the dirt. Castro was able to stop it, but a kick to his left, and the Otters have their first runner in scoring position. Two and two count to Myers. Myers takes a three stride lead at second. The shortstop Valentin shadowing him behind him. Second baseman Glode back and right. The 2-2 two -two outside corner, strike three called. Fastball catches the black. Late strike three call for Mike Fincher. Myers thought it was ball three. Around in surprise when Fincher rung him up. Two away, it's the fourth strikeout for Saldana. And it brings up Josh Allen. Allen grounded out to second, his first time to the plate. Two outs in the bottom of the third. Khalil at second, six nothing Quebec. Saldana home. Breaker on the inside corner for a strike going one. Took the Otters a while in the first time they faced Saldana in game one of this series to get anything going. Evans will have just one base runner for the first four innings against Saldana. A one coming from the Panamanian righty. Foul tipped into the glove of Castro on a big swing by Allen 0-2. Otters from the bottom of the lineup mounted three singles and a walk in the fifth to score two runs. Worked up the pitch count of Saldana and chased him after the sixth inning. 0 2. Sails high. One ball and two strikes to Allen. One across in the first for Quebec, three in the second on two home runs, and adding two more on the third. Jonathan Lacroix has two RBIs, two hits, and a run so far today for Quebec. One, two, bounces in front of home plate. The backhanded stop by Castro, two and two. Shadows have crept onto the outfield grass, the infield in the shade. All three outfielders still staring into the sunshine. Two, one on, two out, and a two-two count. Saldana home, swing and a miss. Fastball up and in, Allen strikes out. Fifth strikeout 
of the night for Saldana, and he's yet to allow a hit through three. We've played the first three in the championship game of the Frontier League season. Six, nothing Quebec on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. Top of the fourth in the winner take all game five of the Frontier League Championship Series between the Quebec Capitals and the Evansville Otters. The champagne is on ice, the trophy is waiting. It's all Quebec right now after dropping the first two games here at Bossy Field. Quebec trying to go back to back, winning the Frontier League here in game number five. Yoan Castillo got the last out of the third inning for the Otters in relief, getting Castro to ground out. Stay on for the fourth inning. Castillo's has started two games, and he was a starter in college at Georgetown College. Could be used for a bunch of innings here for the Otters, trying to keep the lead at just six. Southpaw fires home to Glode. A looping breaking ball sails high, one and up. Lefty batting Glode, the 1 0. Uh, misses outside. Two balls and no strikes. Claude walked in the first and a solo blast in the second. Tommy Seidel with a two run home run in the third. A two run double, excuse me. Or, yeah, two run homer for Seidel. Jonathan Lacroix, the two run double in the third. Claude swings and misses. 2 1 count. Castillo home, grounded right side in fact. Six runs on six hits for Quebec, but walks costly. Two walks to start the game for Parker Brahms. Beamer came out in the third and walked and then hit the first bat. 2-2. Two -two. Hit right side, just fouled to the right of the first base bat. Load lunging at it off the end of the bat. Final game of the Frontier League season after over four months. 2-2. Two -two. Popped up off the end of the bat on the infield. Reyes and Khalil coming in. Reyes the third baseman underneath it. Makes the catch, shoulder high on the grass, one away. Frontier League Baseball on Flow Sports is presented by Old National Bank. Your success is everything. One out, nobody on for Greg Bird. Big lefty slugger, former Yankee, takes the first pitch inside for a ball. One out, nobody on, top four, six, nothing, Quebec over Evansville. One oh home. Big bender on the outside corner for a strike, one and one. Castillo working out of the windup, kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, change up. Beautiful by Castillo. Bird, who struggled with breaking balls in his big league career with the Yankees, has struggled with breaking balls here in the championship series as well, the Frontier League. One, two home. Inside it hit Bird. Off the hip. My goodness. The second hit batter of the game. When Otters pitching has struggled this season, it's been walks and hit batters. 
Their loss at to Gateway in the East Divisional Series, or the West Divisional Series. Hit batters were issue. They had five batters in that series, struggled with command. And it's been a major issue tonight with their season on the line. So Glowed at first, and the first pitch home to TJ White. This is high 1-0. All three, all four innings have, all three of the four innings make it for Quebec. Have started with a base runner reaching on either a walk or a hit by pitch. 1-0. A change up outside. Two balls and no strikes. Just hard to, hard to have successful innings. Hitting batters, walking batters, especially early in the inning. 2-0, chopped left side, racing and Reyes on the grass, gonna be a tough play throw, across the diamond is wide, Quiggle able to get the tag though on the back of White. Really softly hit, Reyes' throw was down the first base line and Quiggle made a nice play to glove it and then tag the back of White before he got to the back. A one, a two away now in the inning. Bird goes to second. Load popped out to third to start the inning. Bird hit by a pitch. And now White grounding out. Justin Gideon steps in. And the lefty takes the first pitch low for a ball. Six, nothing Quebec in the top of the fourth. Honors trying for their first scoreless inning. Who would have thought Johan Castillo would have been the name for the Otters? Trying to give Evansville some hope to win a championship, but here we are, the 1-0. This is high, two balls and no strikes. Well, Evan the Otters still got a smile on his face. Still hope for Evansville. They need a spark, feels like they need it soon. The 2-0 misses outside, three balls and no strikes. Barely a seat to be had here at Bossy Field, but there's been next to nothing to cheer about for Otters fans. No hits for Evansville. Six runs on six hits for Quebec. 3-0 at the top of the zone for his strike. Gideon took one step towards first, but have to head back into the batter's box. 3-1 count. Gideon's reached twice today. Singled in the first, hit by a pitch in the third. Castillo looks back at second and home. Swing and a miss. Slider falling out of the zone and Gideon chasing it down into the dirt. Full count. <laughs> Payoff home. Swing and a miss. That's nasty from Castillo to strike out Justin Gideon. And the Otters with a boost. Their first scoreless inning in the top of the fourth as Castillo works around a hit by pitch. Medal four, six nothing Quebec, a championship on the line tonight on Flow Sports and the Otters Digital Network. Six to nothing, Quebec. Bottom of the fourth inning from Bossy Field, game five. The Frontier League Championship Series. Championship on the line tonight. Quebec trying to win back-to-back -back titles under Patrick Scalabrini in their eighth championship as an organization. They were a dominant force in the Can-Am League before joining the Frontier League 
after COVID-19 in 2021. Otters, longest tenured member now of the Frontier League, trying to win their third championship, which would move them into second most championships in Frontier League history, only behind Chompa. It's a six nothing lead for Quebec. Bottom four, Otters looking for a spark, and Kona Quiggle leads off, taking a first pitch strike from Abdiel Saldana. Quiggle worked a walk back in the first, one of only two base runners so far today for the Otters. Walk for Quiggle, hit by pitch by Khalil. The 0-1 sails outside, one ball and one strike to Quiggle. Three hits in the series for Kona, the 1-1. Fouled off the screen, another breaking ball. One ball and two strikes for the kid from Phoenix. Whatever happens tonight will be a moment that Quiggle will never forget, the first playoff game here at Bossy Field. Game one of the West Divisional Series. A two-run walk-off home run for Quiggle in the ninth to win it. By far the moment of the year for the honors. One, two, misses high. Two balls and two strikes. Has three home runs in the postseason to lead the honors and eight batted in. Two-two count, Saldana turns and fires. Swing and a miss. The changeup by Abdiel Saldana today has been big league quality. Six strikeouts for Saldana. He's typically not a strikeout guy. Doesn't throw that hard, but the changeup has been filthy, and the Otters have been completely lost against him. They saw it just last Tuesday, but Saldana has been, he was really good last Tuesday in Quebec. He's been superb tonight, another level. Borderline untouchable at the moment. Jeffrey Baez stands in and takes the first pitch strike at the knees on that changeup. Righty batter, one out, nobody on, bottom four. Pitch home, fastball, he had foul right side, 0-2. Might just be a case right now for Evansville. They need to find a way to work up the pitch count of Saldana, get out of the game as quick as, get him out of the game as quick as possible. 0-2, this is low, one ball and two strikes. Otters have had a lot of success against the Quebec bullpen in this series. One, two, home. Fouled right side. Quebec used two of their better relievers yesterday, Morozis and Retschek. Six different arms used over the last two days for the Capitals out of their pack. Right now it's all about their ace, Abdiel Saldana. One, two, hit hard left side over the shortstop. Valentina Glove bobbles, picks it back up, throw to first, not in time. First hit of the day for the Otters. Valentin ends up down on his back in left field. Uh, was going to be a tough throw, and the glove to hand transfer, he bobbled. A hot potato popping up in the air, and his throw to first, not in time. Bossy crowd searching for something to cheer about. Baez at first with one out, and the Otters all-star catcher, Dakota Phillips, to the plate. Phillips struck out his first time up in the seconds. Six nothing, uh, six nothing Capitals. Pitch home at the knees for a strike. Back to the changeup, 0-1. Oh, one from Saldana, fouled left side. Fastball there by the Panamanian right. He spent six years in the Astros organization. Played with the Panama national team, the Caribbean series. His first time here in Indy ball this season with Quebec. Oh, two. This is low, one ball and two strikes. Certainly pitched at the quality that you'd imagine another Big lead team is going to give Saldana a look. Really crafty, fun pitcher to watch on the mound. One, two. Change up outside corner. Strike three called. Not even fair. Strikeout number seven for Saldana.
Otters just look completely lost against the changeup tonight. Two outs, Baez at first, and Gary Mattis comes to the plate for the Otters. Right-handed batter and a low crouch for Spitzholm, a fastball on the inner third for a strike. Just three base runners so far for the Otters, a walk, a hit by pitch, and a single in the fourth. Six runs coming across in the first three innings for Quebec. A one. Mattis swings, lines one up the middle, pass Valentin into left center. Baez a big turnaround second, he'll hold there. Throw comes into second base, Baez back to the bag. And Mattis with the hardest hit ball of the day for the Otters, a single up the middle. The ball, baseball's looking like a beach ball right now for Mattis. His 10th hit of the postseason. Evans has their best opportunity of the day with the free swinging Yomar Reyes. Baez at second, Mattis at first with two outs. Reyes has had, it's a strong word, but really a dreadful postseason at the plate. Does have one really big swing for the Otters though. Here's the pitch home. Change up at the knees for a strike 0-1. Two for 22 entering today in the postseason, but he did have one of the biggest swings of the two games here at Bossy Field, a three-run home run in the fifth inning on Friday night that really helped put that ball game away. 0-1, hit hard right side, racing over Gideon, leaps over his head and bouncing off the wall. Baez will score, Mattis is sent on his horse. Here comes the relay, not in time. Reyes erasing some demons with a two RBI double and the Otters have life. The power in that bat has always been there for Reyes, an all-star third baseman who led the Otters in the first half of the season, hammering that ball over the head of a leaping Gideon. Mattis with great speed Sent all the way from first and beat the relay home. Ethan Skinder comes to play with Reyes at second. 6-2, the Otters have cut the lead to four. Saldana home, Skinder takes low, 1-0. Oh. Three hits in the inning for the Otters. Baez, Mattis, and Reyes, a two RBI double to trim the lead to four. Reyes, a three stride lead at second. The pitch home, Skinder hammers one high in the air to left, but going foul. Over the brick wall and out onto the parking lot. Probably taking out a car windshield. And some of the fans with a bad view thought that was gone, but a good 20 feet to the left of the foul pole. A little bit of nerves now for Saldana though in the Capitals. Valentin is short, trying to egg him on. The 1-1, one -one, swing and a miss. Skinner tried to straighten it out, do it again. No call time, one and two. Otters team has never quit all season. A 2-0 deficit in this series. They've won the first two games here at Bossy. Trailing by six. They've cut the lead to four here in the bottom of the fourth. One, two count to Cinder. Saldana peeks back at second and delivers. Swing and a miss. Ball in the dirt. Picked up by Castro. Will toss to first to end the inning. A strikeout for Saldana the night. But the Otters need a spark, and they get it from the all-star third baseman, Yomar Reyes, a two-RBI double off the right field wall for the first two runs of the game for Evansville. We've played four, 6-2 Quebec, championship on the line on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports.
Frontier League Baseball on Flow Sports is presented by Working Distributors Evansville. Some life at Bossy Field. The Otters score two in the bottom of the fourth. Make it 6-2 Quebec as we go to the top of the fifth. The winner take all game five. Frontier League Championship Series. Griffin Epstein, Director Ian Klingler, our entire crew here on Flow Sports and the Otters Digital Network. Glad you're joining us on a Sunday night. The final game of the Frontier League season after over four months of exciting, eventful baseball. What a summer it's been in the Frontier League. Jeremy Profar leads off for Quebec at the top of the fifth and takes a first pitch strike from Johan Castilla. Southpaw worked the first scoreless heading for the Otters in the fourth. 0-1. Oh, slider misses high. One ball and one strike. Castillo got the last out of the third inning. Worked around a hit by pitch for a scoreless fourth. Rookie Southpaw fires. Slider catches the outside corner. That's a gorgeous pitch, one and two. The Otters bullpen, a revolving door early in this game, has found something in the rookie. One, two. Swing and a miss. Profar lunging at the breaking ball. Second, German American Bank strikeout for Castillo. For landscape design that is truly unique, look to locally owned wild horticulture. Whether you need a team to design, construct a large scale landscape project for your business, or looking to create an epic backyard retreat complete with plants, water, and light installation, the experienced team at Wild can take your ideas to the next level. You've likely seen their creative work all over town. Desmo Valentin steps up and bunts the first pitch straight back to the screen. Wild Horticulture has the skills and resources to deliver inspiring spaces and bring your ideas to life. Have a project in mind? Find them on Instagram and at wildspaces.com. 0-1 to Valentin, hammer down the left field line, but foul and into the Quebec bullpen. 0-2 count to Valentin. Castillo has given the honors some stability on the mound. And now Evansville has a little bit of momentum offensively against the terrific Quebec pitcher Abdiel Saldana. 0-2, sails low for a ball. One ball and two strikes. Packed crowd at Bossy Field. Close to a sellout tonight for the championship series. 1-2. Two. Outside. Two balls and two strikes. Two championships won by the Otters in their franchise history. 2006, a sweep of the Chili Coffee Paints. They clinched here at Bossy Field for their first ever championship. 2-2. Two, two. This is low. Full count to Valentin. Pretty much all the players on the team were in elementary school when the Otters won that title in 2006, and then Evansville won their second championship 10 years later in 2016, winning in five games against the River City Rascals. Payoff home. Inside corner, strike three called. Oh yes, Castillo. Slider. Front door slider, Valentin thought was inside. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the fifth. In fact, three strikeouts in a row for Castillo. He's found something, and it brings up Jonathan Lacroix, center fielder. What a day it's been for Lacroix. Pitch home, a slider again on the outside corner for a strike, go one. Single and a run in the second for Lacroix, and then a two RBI double in the third. He swings at the 0-1 and pops it up into center. Back is Myers, still drifting back. Couple steps from the track, makes the catch. Johan Castillo coming in for the Otters and giving Evansville some quality work. That's seven outs for Castillo and three up, three down in the top of the fifth. Middle point of the ball game in the final game of the Frontier League season, 6-2. Quebec over Evansville on the Honors Digital Network and Flow Sports.
six to Quebec, bottom of the fifth. Winner take all, game five of the Frontier League Championship Series. If you're just joining us, score does not look good for the honors, but the momentum is with Evansville. Quebec scoring six runs in the first three innings, chasing the starter, Parker Brobs, out of the game in just the second inning. But after the 6 0 start, Yohan Castillo is coming for the Otters, giving Evansville two scoreless innings. And the Otters scoring their first two runs of the game off Abdiel Saldana in the fourth. George Khalil leads off and takes a first pitch strike at the top of the zone. Two RBI double by Yomar Reyes in the fourth, getting Evansville on the board. 0 1 from Saldana, fouled right side, 0 and 2. Three hits for Evansville, all coming in the fourth inning. Abdiel Saldana, the ace all season for Quebec, has looked really sharp. Eight strikeouts, but Evansville figured a few things out against the talented Panamanian Rady in the fourth. 0 oh, 2. Flied right side and foul. Saldana's pitch count at 74. And there's some stretching in the Quebec bullpen. A couple guys using. The stretchy bands, 0-2, grounded up the middle, skips off the side of the mound, second baseman Glode is there, thrown a second over the head of the first baseman White, back to the backstop, and Khalil will go to second. Oh no. Well, Glode did such a great job, the second baseman getting to the ball, took a funky hop off the mound, he was close to second base. Looked like a routine throw, and he just threw it way over the head of White. And the big back, the big foul territory here at Bossy Field arguably cost Quebec the game last night. No one backing up White, of course, on the throw. All the way back to the backstop. Khalil to second. Nobody out. Top of the order coming up for the Otters. And Ruben Castro and Dremi Profar are going to both walk out to talk with Saldana. Khalil at second on the E4. Noah Myers, Frontier League Rookie of the Year, coming to the plate for Evansville. Barely a seat in the house, not taken tonight. Not much to cheer about for the first three innings for the Otters, but two in the fourth, trailing six to two, and the Otters looking for more here in the fifth. Lefty Noah Myers digs in. Saldana home, pitch sales high, one and oh. Myers is 0 for two today, fly dead on the infield and struck out looking. Frontier League Rookie of the Year has had a huge weekend so far. Two home runs, four hits, and three RBIs. 1-0. Breaker on the outside corner for a strike. One and one. Like Fitcher's strike zone started so small. Looks like it's gotten bigger the last couple innings. Maybe it's just me, though. 1-1. One, one. Looper, that one definitely outside. A change up. Saldana struggling to locate it a little bit more. Two balls and one strike to Myers. Heart and soul of the Otters offense all season. Canadian from Ontario. 2 1. Fastball high. Three balls and one strike. Josh Allen on deck for Evansville. 6 2 Quebec. Runner at second, nobody out, bottom five. 3-1 home. Breaking ball at the knees for a strike. There's the beautiful changeup from Saldana. And he's worked it full to Myers. This is a big pitch in this ball game. Hot is trying to seize momentum. Payoff home. Fly left side and foul. Saldana takes a deep breath, looks back at second. Kicks and fires. Outside, ball four. <laughs> Khalil reaching on the throwing air by Glow, throwing it over the head of White. Now a full count walk to Myers, and just like that, tying run is on deck for Evansville. 
Six to two, Quebec, two on, nobody out. For the Otters legend, Josh Allen, won the championship in 2016, trying to win his second championship with Evansville. Pitch on. Popped up behind home plate and had a play, 1-0. Become the first Otter player-wise to win two rings. And a big night last night, two for four with a double. At the base hit to spearhead the Otters rally in the eighth last night, coming around to score the tying run. Ready on ready matchup. Saldana looks back at second and home. Swing and a miss. Back to the changeup. 0-2 to Allen. Khalil at second, Myers at first, nobody out, bottom five. Six to Quebec, but life here at Bossy. And there's action now in the Quebec pen. 0-2, high, fastball misses, one and two. The Southpaw Franklin Para, who's not pitched here at Bossy Field, is starting to warm up. 85 pitches, now for Saldana. Readies and throws. Popped up into left. Back is Seidel, a few steps from the track under the baseball, makes the catch. Khalil's gonna tag, the throw's wide of the bag, and Profar is able to get to it and knock it down at his feet. But the Otters, on another poor fielding play by Quebec, have two runners in scoring position. That was a risky tag. Khalil is not the fastest runner. Him and Andy McCauley are sharing a smile about it at third base now. The throw by Seidel was wide and Profar just was able to knock down the ball. Back up by him, Khalil would have scored. So Khalil to third, tagging up. Myers goes first to second. And I think that's gonna do it for Saldana. Tony Quiggle, lefty coming up. And Patrick Scalabrini has seen enough. Quebec manager walking out. Franklin Parra standing in the bullpen. Scalabrini staying out there. Cody Clark, the pitching coach, not coming out. It's Scalabrini instead to have a conversation with the ready Saldana. Gonna leave him out there. Parra was ready. He was just looking in to see if Scalabrini would make the sign, and he didn't. Saldana was dominant the first three innings, didn't allow a hit, but three hits, two runs in the fourth. No hits in the fifth, but the Otters have two in scoring position with one out. Kona Quiggle is 0 for 1 today. A strikeout and a walk the lefty batter. Pitch home, popped up into shallow right. Coming in, Ginny, and he'll make the catch. Khalil will tag from third. Here's the throw, cut off by White. Myers down to third base, he's out. Khalil scores, it cuts the lead to three, but that ends the inning. Well, the Otters get another run across. Sack fly to right, scoring Khalil, and Gideon smartly not able to get Khalil throwing to third. And the tag by Profar getting Myers out to retire the side. We got a ball game though, the Otters get a run back in the fifth. And it's just a three-run game. 6-3 Six, Quebec. We go to the sixth championship on the line tonight in the Frontier League Championship Series on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports.
Back at Bossy Field, 6-3 lead for Quebec over Evansville. Top of the six, Randy Tommy Seidel at the plate, took a first pitch strike. The 0-1, cut on and missed. Change up in the dirt by Johan Castillo. 0-2 to Seidel, 6-3 Quebec. Capitals all scored the first six runs of the game in the first three innings. Evansville has scored three unanswered. 0-2, hit hard down the left field line. Fair ball right over the third base bag and into the Quebec bullpen. There was an arm warming, they go scattering. Mattis picks it up and left. And into second is Seidel with a stand-up double. Smashed right over the third base back. And Quebec had to try to avoid kicking the ball, which would have made the ball dead. Franklin Parra warming up in the bullpen. Phillips out to have a quick word with Castillo. Kevin Davis is going to start to warm up for Evansville. 40 pitches for Castillo. He's been excellent. Seven outs for the honors, allowed just one base runner before that double by Seidel, a hit by pitch. Struck out three batters. The rookie for the honors who hadn't pitched in the postseason until tonight has been the answer to Evansville's pitching woes. Lefty Ruben Castro stands in, shows bunt, and pulls it back. 1 0. Seidel at second with nobody out. 1 0 count to the lefty. Shows Bunt again, pulls it back, and the slider misses high. Two balls and no strikes. And Castillo is as fresh as one could be. Hasn't pitched in two weeks since the last game of the regular season. Season high is 79 pitches thrown, the 2 0. On the outside corner for a strike 2 1. That was in a start against Joliet, which. Kind of remarkable, this is Castillo's only second appearance of the season here at Bossy Field. Made five appearances in the regular season. Four on the road, 2-1 outside. Slider misses, three balls and one strike. 6-3, Quebec leads top of the six. How long do the Otters stay with Castillo now? 3-1 home. Fly, left side and out of play. Castillo works it full to Castro. For Quebec, if they win, Ruben Castro certainly will have my vote for MVP of the championship series. He's been unbelievable all postseason for the Capitals. Batting 519 in the postseason. The payoff home is flared right side. It will fall. One hopping in front of Baez. Held at third is Seidel, and Castro just keeps on hitting. He has been unbelievable. Baseman, that is his ninth hit of the series. Ninth hit in five games in a championship series for the Puerto Rican catcher. And that's going to do it for Castillo. Well, he deserves a loud applause from the crowd. Really settling down the Otters pitching staff after a rough three innings. Castillo getting out a clean fourth inning, allowing just one base runner, a one, two, three, fifth with five strikeouts. The Otters will pave the way for Kevin Davis. A rookie who has a bright future here in Evansville. The Otters turn it to the big 6-9 righty, Kevin Davis. Runners on the corners with nobody out on the top of the 6. 6-3 six, Quebec on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports.
Welcome back to Bossy Field. Winner take all game five of the Frontier League Championship Series between Evansville and Quebec. Righty Kevin Davis into the ball game for the Otters. Runners on the corners for Quebec with nobody out on the top of the six. Capitals trying to extend a six to three lead. Davis has been used more than anyone else in the postseason for the Otters. It's his eighth appearance of the postseason. He had a shaky start to the postseason, allowed runs in four of his first five outings. But he's looked really good in his return to Bossy Field. Two appearances against the Capitals in the last two days. Two and a third innings pitched. So had just one base runner, runner on a walk. Five strikeouts. Last night got four outs. Needed just 19 pitches to do so. Runners on the corners. Nobody out for David Glode, who already has a solo home run today. Riders have scored three unanswered. Quebec trying to take the momentum back in the top of the six. Davis nods and fires. Low in the dirt. 1-0. Take 6-9 righty. Led the Otters in the regular season out of the bullpen with a 1.98 ERA. Just 11 earned runs allowed in 50 innings. 78 strikeouts to 28 walks. 6-9 righty. One of the tallest players in the Frontier League. Orland Park, Illinois native. High set at the chest. Kicks and fires. Fly left side foul. And a 139 batting average against in the regular season. The six best of all pitchers in the Frontier League. 90, 78 strikeouts for a 14 strikeout to nine inning ratio. One one to the lefty Glode. Fastball outside. Two balls and one strike. Feels key for the Otters to limit the damage here for Quebec. Not more than a run. The Otters with momentum with three on answer. Quebec trying to snatch it back. 2-1. Popped up left side in foul territory. Reyes will race over at the warning track. It bounces into the first row of the seats. And a couple of fans scampered out of the way instead of making the catch. I think Reyes pointed them. Well, they should have done a better job. Make the catch yourself. Being scaredy cats. 2-2 two -two to Glode. 6-3 Quebec. Final game of the season. Davis nods and fires home. Fastball low and Glode works it full. Other lefty Greg Bird is on deck. Six runs on eight hits, one air for Quebec. Three runs on three hits, no airs for Evansville. Quebec scored three in the second. Their big inning. Otters two in the fourth, one in the fifth. Payoff home. Popped up by Glode into left. This should be deep enough at third for Quebec. Mattis makes the catch. He bobbles it for a second and will just throw to second. Scoring from third is Seidel. Quebec. Gets a big run back to make it seven to three. Load does his job. Driving one deep enough to left. Mattis, gloved to hand transfer, bobbled it a little bit, but even with a good arm, way too deep to get Seidel. Castro held it first base. So one out. Quebec stops the 3 0 run from the Otters. Greg Bird comes to the plate. 0 for 2 and hit by a pitch today for the former New York Yankee. Had a nice last couple days here at Bossy Field with three hits. Davis winds home. Bird takes a strike at the top of the zone, 0-1. Quebec has really dealt with some injuries this year, and Bird was a late injury replacement in the second half of August. Certainly a pretty good re injury replacement, wouldn't you? Bring in a former big leaguer. Hit some home runs in the postseason with the Yankees. The 0-1 chop left side, past Quiggle and into right. Castro around second and head to third. Baez throws it in. Allen, the second baseman, eats it on the dirt. Bird with his fourth hit here at Bossy Field in Quebec looking for more in the sixth. A smasher past the outreached arm of Quiggle at first. Castro at third, Bird at first, one out in the sixth. T.J. White 
veteran for Quebec. He's even their hitting coach, strides to the plate. 0 for 2 today with a walk. First righty for Davis to face. 7 to 3, Quebec. Their first run here in the sixth since the third inning. Davis twirls home. Fastball on the inside corner for a strike, going one. A one, swing and a miss. Davis goes with the changeup, doesn't throw a lot of it with his fastball up to 97, using the breaker there and light chasing. No balls and two strikes. One out, runners on the corner, 7-3 Quebec in the top of the sixth. Here's the 0-2. Popped up by White into center. Back is Myers, a few steps from the track. He'll make the catch. Castro will score from third without a throw, and Quebec has extended the lead back to five. About 50 Capitals front office members, season ticket holders made the trip on their feet. Two huge runs. The Capitals scratching across here in the sixth inning. The momentum for the Otters has halted. The lead out to five, Justin Gideon to the plate. Bird still at first. Eight, three now, Quebec in the sixth. Davis home. Fastball misses low, 1-0 to the lefty Gidium. One for two today by a pitch back in the third inning. Franklin Parra, the lefty. Looks like he's ready to go for Quebec in the bottom of the six. Otters finally figured out Abdiel Saldana over the last two innings, scoring three runs off of him. 1-0 home. Swing and a miss. Gideon tried to send that one all the way to Kentucky over the Ohio River. Sun is just set here at Bossy Field. The lights on into about 50% effect or so. Clouds have raced over the sky on this Sunday evening. 1-1, one, one. fouled left side. Windy evening as well. Wind blowing hard out to right field, about 50 miles per hour in Quebec. Two home runs today, both to right. Otters without a home run. Davis looking for the last out here of the sixth inning. One, two home. Fastball wide. Two balls and two strikes to Gideon. Bird at first, two outs, top six. Eight, three, Capitals over the Otters. Quebec trying to go back to back. Frontier League crowns. They took down Schaumburg last year in four games. On that one at home, trying to do here on the road. 2 2, sales high. And a full count to Gideon. Davis turns around behind the mound, looks out towards the American flag in center. A big deep breath before getting back on the bump. Payoff home, fastball high, ball four. Fourth walk of the night for the Otters to go with two hit batters. That's not going to help you against a hot Quebec offense. Nine hits for the Capitals, eight runs already in the six, looking for more. And Phillips having a very quick word with Davis. Bird at second, Gideon at first. Otters trim the lead to three. Quebec has it back out to five. Wind is really picking up here at Bossy Field. And some dirt swirling around. Billboard signs, see the wind in them. It's gusting really hard out to right field right now. First pitch to Pro Farm, this is inside, one and out. Clouds have come in, not supposed to be any rain. Been a beautiful weekend here at Bossy Field. Upper 70s every day, plenty of sunshine. Ideal conditions for the last weekend of baseball until May. 1-0 to the ready, Profar. Fouled right side, 1-1. One one. 
Profar, one for three today, singled back in the third inning. Davis peeks back at second, kicks and fires. Fastball at the letters. One and two to Profar. The Otters looking desperately for the last out here of the six. Keep the lead at five. One, two home. Grounded right side, tough play. Allen diving under his glove and into right. Coming around to score is Gideon. Ball bounces away from Phillips. He gloves it quickly. Bird holds it at, or Bird was the runner that scored make it. Gideon holds it third. And the lead for Quebec is back to six. Profar poking one through the 4-3 hole. Allen was shaded up the middle, the second baseman with a runner at first. His dive, unable to get to the baseball, and just like that, the Capitals have seized the momentum back. The Otters trim the lead to three, three in the six, and Bossy Field throwing quiet again. Bird coming around to score. The third run of the inning for Quebec, Giddy into third, Profar at first, still two outs. Jesmuel Valentim, the shortstop, steps to the plate. Lefty is 0 for 3. Waggling a bright red bat. Check swing, ball gets away from Phillips to the right. Throw back to Davis is late. Scoring is Ginny in the lead is 7 for Quebec. 4 in the 6th, and it's 10 to 3, Capitals. Kicked to the right of Phillips, and it's turned into a disastrous 6th inning for the Otters. Profar's all the way to third. Quebec responding after the three runs by the Otters. This place was rocking. Double and a single to start the inning. All of a sudden, a crooked number put up by the Capitals. A wild pitch, it's ruled. Bouncing away from Phillips. 0-1 count to Valentin. Some fans... Most of, almost all the fans in the stands, but the first couple fans headed out to the parking lot. Broken back rounder down the right field line, right to Quiggle, a step on the bag for the third out. The Capitals respond. Four runs in the sixth inning, a double, two singles, make it three singles in a walk. And Quebec has control, 10 to three, middle six. Game five of the Frontier League Championship Series on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. Back at Bossy Field, 10 to three. Quebec leads Evansville. Capitals trying to win their second straight Frontier League Championship. Abdiel Saldana's day ends after five. Quebec will bring in a lefty from the pen, Franklin Parra. Pitched a lot in the postseason. Returning Capital was really good for them last year. 
Two appearances in the postseason, just an inning and two thirds worked. He's allowed one hit on one run, but three walks in his two outings. Para on the season, 41 appearances, 4.58 ERA in the regular season. First pitch to Jeffrey Baez, swung on and missed the fastball up. Otters scored three unanswered, two in the fourth, one in the fifth, but four in the sixth have silenced the bossy crown faithful. A one on the outside corner for his strike. No balls and two strikes. Southpaw Parra working on the third base side of the rubber. Kicks and fires. Fallon straight back. Going two. Parra walked two batters. Allowed a hit and a run. And just two-thirds innings pitched against the honors on Wednesday night in Quebec. 0-2, oh, it hard down the right field line, fair ball, rolling all the way to the wall, Baez hustling to second, the good throw in is late, stand up double for Jeffrey Baez, ripping it down the right field line, bouncing off the warning track in the wall. It has been a nice night for Baez, singled and scored the first run of the game for the honors in the fourth, he doubles to right in the sixth. Benzel's offense, which has had plenty of success against Quebec's bullpen in this series, hoping for a late charge. Dakota Phillips, Otter's all-star catcher, is 0 for 2 today with two strikeouts. Face the lefty Parra. Parra working out of the stretch. Black Glove sets just above the navy blue belt. Peeks back at second and fires home. Fouled off the screen. Just the fourth hit of the night for the Otters. Get Abdiel Saldana, the ace for Quebec, out of the ball game. Quebec's got a deep bullpen. Has a lot of arms with a lot of talent in the Capitals' pen. But a lot of them have had some struggles over the last month. 0-1, check swing by Phillips. He went around. 0-2. Lights are into full effect now. Sun is set. Dark gray sky and the wind that had really picked up last half inning has died down. And American flag is just softly flowing on its flagpole out in center field. 0-2 home. Swing and a miss. Wipe away slider from Parra. One away. That's great stuff from Parra. He was one of the top relievers last year for Quebec and hasn't been able to find as much consistency this, this year for the Capitals. It's all the talent in the world. One out. Baez at second. Ready, Gary Mattis digs in. First pitch home. Fastball misses high. Six one lefty Para from New York. One zero. Fastball wide. Two balls and no strikes to Mattis, who singled back in the fourth and scored. That is hitting 429 in this series entering today. Six hits, five runs, six RBIs in four games. 2-0 pitch. Fastball at the letters for a strike. Two and one to Mattis. 10-3 Quebec in the bottom of the sixth. Otters scored three unanswered. Two in the fourth, one in the fifth, but Quebec getting four back in the sixth setting off the Otters' bullpen. The biggest lead of the night. Mattis is going to call time. Two one home. Swing and a miss. Two and two to Mattis. Para winds home, swing and a miss. Foul tipped into the glove. A high heater by Para, and there's two outs. Baez at second still. Yomar Reyes comes to the plate, one for two, doubled in the fourth. Two RBI double for Reyes. Really sparked the Otters and if these fans hope. Quebec got off to a 6-0 start. Otters could use another big swing from the All-Star. First pitch home, 
Slider inside, 1-0. There's a righty ready in the Quebec bullpen. He's warmed up and it's just standing next to the bullpen catcher. Facing me, can't see a number from here. 1-0, swing and a miss. Fastball up, it's a lot of swings right now from the Otters, trying for a seven run swing. 10 outs to work with for the Otters, trying to win a championship. It's a ball that got out onto the field and right. Gideon throwing it back into the stands. One, one, flied right side, one ball and two strikes. 10 runs on 10 hits, one air for Quebec, three runs on four hits, no errors for Evansville. Quebec got one in the first, three in the second on two different home runs. Seidel had a two run blast, glowed a solo homer, added two more in the third. Here's the one, two, swing and a miss, slider in the dirt and Para hopping off the mound in delight. Strikes out the side after giving up the leadoff double to Baez. We've completed six, 10-3 Quebec. The final game, Frontier League Championship Series on the Honors Digital Network and Flow Sports. Welcome back to Bossy Field. Six innings complete in the final game of the Frontier League Championship Series. Quebec took the first two up in Canada. The Otters responded by taking games Friday and Saturday here in Evansville. But it's the Capitales up big here in game five. Ten to three lead for Quebec. Kevin Davis will remain in the game in the seventh for the Otters. Quebec got off to a 6-0 lead. Otters scored three unanswered for a spark, but four in the six off Johan Castillo and then Kevin Davis to solidify this lead for the Capitals. Otters will need their biggest comeback of the season if they are to win the championship tonight. Jonathan Lacroix had a fantastic night. The Montreal native lefty batter leads off for Quebec. Ready Davis home. Fastball misses outside. 1-0. Two hits for Lacroix, run in the second, two RBI double in the third. Explosive offensive night for Quebec, their most run scored in this series. 1-0, fastball low, two balls and no strikes. This is how Quebec won games two and three against New Jersey in the East Divisional Series after getting walked off in the first game. 14 runs in game two, 15 runs in the series to Saturday game three. Eh? Hit the crap out of the ball against New Jersey. They found that offense here tonight. 2-0, misses side. Three balls and no strikes. The Otters' command has not been great. Four walks, two hit by pitches. Have not helped the Otters tonight. Quebec had not hit a homer in the first two games here at Bossy Field. They have two of them tonight as part of a three-run second. 3-0 on the outside corner for a strike. 3-1 and one to Lacroix. 10-3 Quebec in the top of the seventh. Three-one, swing and a miss. Big fastball, Lacroix swinging through it and a full count. Austin Morozis, who just pitched yesterday for Quebec. Big righty is warming up in the bullpen. Looks like he'll come in in the seventh. Retschke, who pitched the eighth yesterday for Quebec as their setup man. Here's the payoff. High ball four. Davis 
is not happy with the call. He started to stride off the mound. He thought he was going to have strike number three. Frontier League Baseball on Flow Sports is presented by Bud Light. Ready batter Tommy Seidel steps in. Pitch home, takes off. LaCroix Phillips bobbled the ball at first, and his throw down to second is nowhere near in top. The air has been popped. The balloon has been popped. The air out of the balloon, as I'm trying to say, here at Bossy Field. Davis will step off. Leone De La Cruz, I'll start lefty for the honors, is warming up in Evansville's bullpen. Time is called by Seidel. They're set the pitch clock. Lights into full effect. Dark sky now. Sunday, September 17th. Phillips is going to go out and talk with Davis. Season started over four months ago. The honors have played as many games as physically possible in the Frontier League season. They played all 96. And then they've gone the max here in the postseason, playing nine games in the playoffs. Wild card game, all three in the West Divisional Series, beating Gateway in game three, and now going the distance, all five here against Quebec in the championship series. The 105th game of the season, 54th game here at Bossy Field. 1-0 to Seidel, shows bunt, pops it up behind home plate, one and one. 10-3 Quebec in the top of the seven. You parlez-vous Francais, Francois. I see my French is very bad. Parlez-vous Francois. Encourage you to tune in on Flow Sports to the visiting stream where you can listen to the excellent voices of the Quebec Capitals. Been lucky to call friends over the past week. The 1-1 one -one by Seidel is cut on and miss. 1-2. and two. Mark Andre Lord and Pierre Blas have your French language broadcast on Flow Sports, and they're also on the radio up in Quebec as well. One two cap to Seidel. Davis winds home. This is in the dirt. Pass Phillips and back to the screen. Tried to backhand it. All the way back to the backstop and down to third goes Lacroix. 10 3 Quebec. Nobody out in the top of the seventh. Otters infield in, toes on the edge of the grass. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. Fastball in. Seidel strikes out. One away in the seventh. Lacroix still at third. Back to the top of the order. And Ruben Castro. Up before Max Peterson's going to make a change. The lefty Leone de la Cruz. Warming up, three lefties coming up for Quebec, and that's going to do it for Kevin Davis. What a season for Kevin Davis. He was electric, especially in the second half for the Otters. The 6-9 righty did not allow an earned run from July 30th into his second outing of the postseason. 20 straight innings without allowing an earned run. He was one of the best pitchers in the Frontier League and absolutely a guy that deserves a call up to an affiliated organization in the offseason. 10-3, Quebec leads. The top of the seventh, one on and one out. Leone de la Cruz into the ball game. We're back in 30 seconds on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports.
One out in the top of the seventh, the final innings of the Frontier League season. It's all Quebec tonight, 10 to three in the series decider. The Capitals dropped the first two games here at Bossy Field, but an offensive onslaught tonight and Evansville continues to look for pitching answers. Leone De La Cruz into the ball game. He's the fifth pitcher used today for the Otters. All-star lefty at a 3.24 ERA in the regular season. One of two Otters pitchers named to the All-Star team. 59 strikeouts to 21 walks. One of the best sliders in the league. De La Cruz making his sixth start in the postseason. Eight strikeouts and six innings pitched. And he's been a huge pitcher this postseason for the Otters. He has three wins. First pitch to Ruben Castro. Lefty misses outside. One and out. Lacroix, the runner at third with one out here in the top of the seventh. De La Cruz at the belt. The lefty readies, kicks, and fires. Swing and a miss. Front door slider. Castro swinging through one and one. De La Cruz looked terrific last night. An inning in the third against the Capitals. Three strikeouts, didn't allow a base runner, and ended up earning the victory. 1-1. One, one. Popped up left side and out of play. Overhead foul ball. One, two count. Taylor Cruz deals. Lined right side, right at Allen. Nice catch. Pitched up the glove and made the play on the edge of the grass. That ball got to the second baseman in a hurry. Two away, David Glode, the second baseman for Quebec, strides to the plate. Solo home run back in the second. It's been a big night for the Veteran Capital can win his second straight championship with Quebec. Two outs, Lacroix at third. Otters looking for their, just their third scoreless inning today, trailing 10 to three. Taylor Cruz home. Pitch misses low. One and zero to Glode. Four times this season did the Otters have a sweep at home. Essentially what they were attempting to do today. Went all three here at Bossy Field. 1-0. Broken bat liner into center. Racing back. Allen off his glove and down. Lacroix scores 11-3 Quebec. Blooper by Glode. Got just enough of it in no man's land. And it fell in between three Capitals. Glowed with his second RBI of the night. 11th hit, 11 run for Quebec, and they lead by eight. Greg Bird, a lefty designated hitter, will come to the plate. De La Cruz home. Slider on the outside corner for a strike, going one. Quebec on the verge of their eighth championship as a franchise. A one home. Lined left side, tough play for Reyes. It hops under his glove and down the left field line, rolling all the way into the Quebec bullpen, picked up by Mattis. Held it third is Glode. Reyes tried to backhand it and it skipped under his glove. Bird has his second hit of the night. First runners on the corners Three with two out. Ones. Quebec looking for a few more runs of insurance. Already up 11 to three. TJ White 0 for three today with a walk. First righty batter for De La Cruz to face. Wind home, slider at the top of the zone for a strike.
0-1. Swing and a miss, 0-2. Quebec won its first Frontier League title in 2022. They won seven Can-Am League titles in a, in a much smaller league. The Can-Am League, by the time Quebec left, and the Can-Am League merged with the Frontier League, only had six teams in it. 0-2 home. This is low, one ball and two strikes. Patrick Scalabrini has been out the helm for almost all of the championships for the Capitals. This would be back-to-back -back championships for Scalabrini. Here's the one-two home. White hits it hard, left side, past Khalil into left field. Another run for Quebec. The lead is nine. TJ White, an RBI base hit, and Quebec keeps on pounding it on here in Evansville. Three straight singles with two outs off De La Cruz. Bird to second, White to first. It's 12 to three. Justin Gideon coming to the plate. And looks like Quebec's gonna make a change. Bird is gonna come out. Jonah Wisner is gonna pinch run at second for Bird. Second base for Jonah Wisner. Gideon, a lefty to face De La Cruz. The pitch home misses outside. Phillips with a good stop. Twelve runs on 13 hits, one air for Quebec. Three runs on four hits, no airs for Evansville. Quebec got off to an early lead, chipped across a run in the first. Parker Brahms got the start for Evansville to come out of the bullpen. He's dealt with some arm injuries this year. Otters gave him the start, a 1-0 at the knees for a strike, one and one on the slider. Walked the first two batters of the game and things have not really gone right since then for the Otters. One run came across on a infield single for Gideon to make it one to nothing. Quebec then hit two home runs off Brahms in the second inning. Tommy Seidel had a two run homer and David Glode with one as well. One one is hammered right side and well fouled. That chased Brahms from the game. John Beamer entered for the Otters. Got the last out of the second, but he ran into trouble with his command in the third. Walked and hit a batter. Jeremy Profar followed with a single. And then Jonathan Lacroix with the bases loaded to two RBI, double to right, and that would end the night for Beamer. And it was six to nothing, Quebec. One, two home. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Two more runs for Quebec. It's 12 to three, Capitals over the Otters. Quebec trying to get the final nine outs to win the Frontier League Championship. We'll stretch for the final time this season at Bossy Field. You're listening to Evansville Otters Baseball on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports.
Final time, the seventh inning stretch. Long winter is impending as we finish the 2023 Frontier League season. Quebec is nine outs away from winning the Frontier League Championship. 12-3 lead for the Capitals over the Otters in the winner take all game five of this championship series. Randy Austin Morosis into the ball game for Quebec. Second arm out of the pen for the Capitals. Morosis pitched just last night, looked really good. One, two, three inning. That was also in the seventh, one strikeout and worked very quickly. Traded from Windy City right before the transaction deadline and it's closing in on winning a ring. First pitch to the Randy Ethan Skinder misses inside, 1-0. Oh. Morosis has allowed just one run, three appearances on the postseason, two and two thirds innings pitch, but he hasn't allowed a hit. One run came across when he walked a batter as the 1-0 oh sails low and back to the backstop, two balls and no strikes. Big lanky righty Morosis from Chicago, 6'8", 230. 12-3 Quebec in the bottom of the seventh. 2-0. Oh, look out. Skinder diving out of the way. Helmet fell off all the way down onto the dirt up near the head. 3-0. Skinder's going to call time. Take off the headband. Put it back over the hair. And the helmet back on. And you adjust. The Otters designated hitter tonight. He's played second base almost all season for Evansville. More stretching going on in the Quebec bullpen. You imagine it'll be Rechke in the eighth and Muscatiello in the ninth. 3-0, right down the middle for a strike. 3-1 to Skinder. Otters bullpen is quiet. Evansville will look to stay with De La Cruz in the eighth. The Otters need a miraculous comeback trailing by nine in the bottom of the seventh. Three one, cut on and missed. And a full count. Back to back walk offs on Tuesday and Wednesday for Quebec, both in the ninth inning. Otters had leads going into the ninth. Both games. By two runs on Tuesday, one run on Wednesday. Here's the payoff. Fouled back by Skinder to stay alive. Quebec got a walk-off home run from Justin Gideon on Tuesday, a three-run walk-off to win the ball game. And then the next day, it was Jeremy Profar who played Hero with the two-run walk-off. That game was probably more painful for the Otters. They had a four-run lead going into the eighth. Quebec scored three in the eighth, and then the two-run walk-off in the ninth. Otters played so well in both games at Quebec but weren't able to salvage a victory. And it meant coming back here and trying to essentially sweep the Capitals. Something that's only happened once all season. Payoff home, swing and a miss. Skinder down on strikes, one away in the seventh. Bring up George Khalil, he's reached twice today, hit by a pitch and reached on an air and scored in the fifth. You look at why are these two teams the, the ones that made it the championship series? Baseball season is a long season. It's all about consistency. These were the only two teams in the league that were swept just once all season. Quebec, it was all the way back early in the first half. Honors were swept at Lake Erie on 4th of July weekend. Quebec hasn't lost three in a row since mid-June and closing in on avoiding that and winning a championship as Morosis' first pitch is in for a strike at the knees to George Khalil. Oh, one from the lanky righty, looping breaking ball inside. One ball to one strike. Both teams, as I mentioned earlier, bounce back from resiliency this season and in this series. It's made this such a riveting series. Really, at the moment, a rather anticlimactic end. The 1-1, one, one, a slider on the outside corner. It catches the zone, one and two. Three of the first four games decided by one run, the two walk-offs, then the 3-2 thrilling win for the Otters last night with two in the eighth on the throwing air from Rutschke. One, two. Swing and a miss. Change up by Morozis. Strikes out Khalil, two away. Five straight Otters have struck out. Para struck out the side in the seventh. And Morozis has struck out the first two here 
in the seventh. Back to the top of the order, Frontier League Rookie of the Year, Noah Myers. 0 for 2 with a walk today. Lefty batter facing the righty Morosis. It's 12 to 3 Quebec in the bottom of the seventh. Pitch home. Sails at the top of the zone for a strike. 0 1. Evans will held to three runs and four hits tonight. Quebec 12 runs on 13 hits. 0 1. Applied left side down the line. Seidel racing over. He'll drift out of play. 0 and 2. Roses looks in at the Belton home. Grounded left side, one hopped into the glove of Valentin. He collects, throws to first, gets Myers by a stride. One, two, three, seventh for Morosis. We go to the eighth, 12-3 Quebec on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. Top of the eighth, final game of the Frontier League season is into its final two innings. Quebec, 12, Evansville, three. Winner take all, game five of the championship series. It's been such a great series, but it's been all Capitals tonight. Six outs away for Quebec from back-to-back -back crowns. Drummy Profar will lead off for Quebec here in the top of the eighth. Leone de la Cruz got the final two outs of the seventh. Southpaw will stay in for the honors. De la Cruz home. Profar takes outside one and now. Recapping the game, Quebec got one in the first, three in the second, two in the third. And when Castillo came in for the honors at the end of the third, gave Evansville two really good innings. Scoreless in the fourth and the fifth, didn't allow a hit. Here's the 1-0. Swing and a miss by Profar, one and one. Those are still the only two innings that Quebec hasn't scored in, and Evansville took advantage. They scored two in the fourth, really wake up the crowd. Yomar Reyes had a two RBI double, and then Quebec started to look a little bit rattled. Here's the one, one. Profar flies it, left side on the infield, coming in Reyes, the third baseman on the edge of the grass, reaches up and makes the catch, one out. One out, base is empty, top eight, it's 12-3 Quebec. First at bat of the fifth, Khalil grounded one to second, and Davi Glode threw it well over the head of TJ White at first. Khalil was at second, and there was a walk to Myers by Abdiel Saldana. First pitch to Jezmuel Valentin, the radian for a strike at the knees. This place was rocking. You could feel it. The Otters were just four runs down, but had all the momentum, Quebec. Started to look like they were tightening up. Here's the 0-1, flied right side. Back is Baez. Under the baseball, makes the catch. Two away here in the eighth. Center fielder, Jonathan Lacroix. Khalil scored on a sack fly. Skinder, Ethan Skinder in that inning nearly hit a home run down the line. Blasted one down the line. 
just missed being a homer. Here's the pitch to Lacroix, swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Lefty on lefty matchup, two outs, bases empty, top eight, 12 3, Quebec. The Otters would not get more in the fifth, but had cut the lead to three, felt like momentum was on Evansville's side. Here's the 0 1, swing and a miss. And Quebec responded in the sixth. They got to Castillo. Seidel doubled down the line. Castro with an RBI single. That chased Castillo from the game. Kevin Davis came in, and Quebec just kept on hitting. They added two more singles and a walk. Ended up scoring four in the sixth. The 0-2 swing and a miss by Lacroix. And a good eighth inning by De La Cruz. He sends the Capitals down in order in the eighth. Just the third scoreless inning worked by the Otters tonight. Middle eight. Frontier League Championship Trophy about to be handed out. It's 12 to three, Quebec. Well, the final Azip Legends pizza race of the year is also about set to recur. Benjamin Bossy's looking especially short tonight. He's in the middle on the far side is William Henry Harrison and Wright's on the inside and it's the short Benjamin Bossy off to an early lead. Bossy trying to win the playoffs. He has two race wins on the right side. It's FJ Wright. Now Wright's with a narrow lead. Bossy behind him and William Henry Harrison's rough playoff continue. Down goes Wright ahead first. Ball by Wright and it will be Bossy who wins it. He might not be the tallest man tonight, but Benjamin Bossy looms large in the playoffs in the A-Zip Legends Pizza Race. The third playoff win for Bossy, and while he only had nine, win seven wins in the regular season, Bossy wins three races in the postseason, and what a way to finish on a good note for Benjamin Bossy in 2023 here. Stadium has his name set. Bottom of the eighth will stay here on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. 12-3 lead for Quebec over Evansville. Austin Morozis worked a 14 pitch, one, two, three, seven, with two flyouts and a strikeout. He will stay out for the bottom of the eighth. Phase two, three, and four. Josh Allen, Kona Quingle, and Jeffrey Baez. It is 12 to 3 Quebec. A, about a fourth of the fans here at Bossy Field have emptied out, but most Otters supporters wanting to stick around and cheer on the Otters to the finish line here in the final game of the year. First pitch home to Allen. Fastball at the knees for a strike. Allen is 0 for 3 today. Righty Morosis at the belt. Kicks and fires in the dirt. One ball and one strike. Well, he's Kind of start to reflect on this Otters season. Evansville making it back to the championship series for the first time since 2016. 1-1, broken bat grounder, left side over third baseman Profar, gloves throws to first, gets Allen by one stride, and there's one away in the bottom of the eighth. Evansville finished the regular season 52-44. and 44. 10th straight season for the Otters, finishing over 500. Evansville's had at least 50 victories in the past seven seasons, dating back to 2016. They're the only team in the Frontier League to do so. It's been a model of consistency under manager Andy McCauley over the last decade or so. McCauley in his 14th season here at Bossy Field. Quiggle swings at the first pitch, grounds it right side, backhanded by White, tosses to Morosis, who beats Quiggle to the bag, and there's quickly two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. 12-3 Quebec, and the Capitals are four outs away from being crowned champions for a second straight season. Two outs, space is empty for Baez. He's the last base runner for the Otters. A double back in the sixth, two for three night tonight for the Otters' all-star right fielder. 12-3 Quebec. Capitals got off to a 6-0 lead. Otters scored two in the fourth, one in the fifth to cut the lead to three, but three in the fourth. Pretty much sucked all the life out of Bossy Field. Quebec added two in the seventh, and it's 12-3 here in the bottom of the eighth. Two outs, nobody on. Spies takes the first pitch low. 1-0 from Morozis. Breaker inside. Two balls and no strikes. The biggest thing, maybe for the Otters, you look at this season, that was 
kind of hanging over the franchise. Here's the 2 0 hit hard left side, but foul into the Quebec bullpen. Otters had really struggled in the postseason. Evansville had made it every year outside of 2021 when they finished half a game out of the playoffs. Every other year since 2016, they made the playoffs, but the Otters were just 1-10 in, in the postseason since, and their only win was back in 2017. The Otters had lost nine straight playoff games entering this season. The 2-1, best ball at the knees, 2-2. Two and two. It feels like a huge monkey to get off the back for the Otters. Proving again that they can win in the postseason. That's not a storyline going into next year. The Otters, you think almost every year are going to make it in, but can they win in the postseason? Now you know they can again as Baez takes low in a full count. For Andy McCauley, a young team as well. And a good core you think is going to come back for next season. Full count to Baez. Moroz is home inside. Baez aboard for the third time today. One of the veterans of this team. 31 year old. Check that, he's 29. Give Baez extra, extra years. He'll turn 30 on Halloween this season. He's aboard for this third time today. Singled in the fourth, doubled in the sixth, and now a walk here in the eighth. Baez at first, two outs, brings up Dakota Phillips. 12-3 lead for Quebec in the bottom of the eighth. Capitals are four outs away from winning the Frontier League Championship. It is the closer, Frank Mascatiello. Frontier League reliever of the year warming up for the night. Phillips swings at the first pitch, grounds it right side. White steps on the first base bag, and that is the eighth. Three outs away from Quebec from back-to-back -back titles. 12 to three, we go to the ninth on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. To the ninth, final inning of the Frontier League season, 12 to three, Quebec leads Evansville, winner take all. Game five of this riveting championship series has not provided the drama that we saw in three of the first four games of this series, all decided by one run. Quebec scored six early runs in the first three innings. Otters cut the lead to three. This place was rocking, but Quebec pretty much put the game away with four in the sixth. Leone de la Cruz will remain out the Otters in the ninth. Tommy Seidel, already batter, swings and fouls the first pitch away for a ball. Big night for Seidel, two-run homer in the second. He doubled and scored in that big six. He had the double down the line in that key six inning for Quebec, really, to kickstart things back up for the Capitals. 0-1. This is low. One ball and one strike to Seidel. 12 runs on 13 hits, one air for Quebec. Three runs on four hits, no errors for Evansville. 1-1 one, one home. Ripped third base side off the glove of a leaping Reyes down on the dirt. Pick it up, and side will safe at, third, at first. Reyes left it, almost made a great catch, but it bounced off of his glove. And that's kind of the way tonight's gone for the Otters. Had a chance to make some plays on the field, haven't been able to do so, haven't found the command on the mound, toiled through a bunch of different pitchers who 
Haven't found consistency in the offense outside of the fourth and the fifth inning has not strung together hits. Ruben Castro steps up. Lefty takes the first pitch inside for a ball. Roll the base hit for Seidel. Castro should win Frontier League Championship Series MVP. He's one for four today with two runs. Here's the 1-0. Breaker on the outside corner for a strike one and one. Castro had six hits in the first series of the playoffs against New Jersey. He's outdone himself here in the second series of the postseason. With nine hits, 1-1, one, one, fouled off the screen, 1-2. and two. Stroman in five runs. It's on base percentage in the playoffs. is 629. He has seven walks, fifth, 519 average in the postseason entering today. Two doubles, nine RBI, 16 total bases. Has two stolen bases on the postseason. Unbelievable postseason, unbelievable series for Castro. One, two, swing and a miss. The bat goes flying out of his hands. That's one way to go out, one away. Puerto Rican catcher, though, certainly deserves it. He has a bright, bright future at 320 in the regular season. And certainly a guy that could be picked up in the offseason by an affiliated team or could become the next great Capital player. David Glode, second baseman, lefty batter, steps to the plate. Runner at first and one out, it's 12-3 Capital. De La Cruz home, it's hammered right at Khalil. He gloves it off a hop, tosses to second for one. The first double play. 6-4-3, ending, ending, double play. Ends the top of the ninth for the Otters. De La Cruz works the final two and two thirds for the Otters on the hill. We'll keep it here for the bottom of the ninth. Frank Mascatiello coming in for Quebec, and the Capitals are three outs away from back-to-back -back Frontier League championships, their ninth championship in franchise history, seven in the Can-Am League, won last year in four games against Schaumburg, walk-off sack fly, won it in game four, and Mascatiello Frontier League Reliever of the Year will get the honor to try to finish it here in the bottom of the ninth for Quebec. Otters last chance, six, seven, and eight in their lineup. Gary Mattis, Yomar Reyes, and Ethan Skinder. Mascot Yellow's last outing did not go well. Game one of this series back on Tuesday. He'll have two home runs in the ninth in a tie ball game. It was Mattis, who hit the first home run, and a solo blast with one out, and then Jake Green, the second. Honors had a two-run lead going to the ninth, but Quebec walked it off with the three-run homer by Justin Gideon. Frenzy League reliever of the year, though, virtually untouchable in the regular season. 1.86 ERA, 78 strikeouts, and 48 and a third, 20 saves in 46 appearances for Muscat Yellow in his second year in Quebec. So much experience on this Capitals squad. Trying to win back-to-back -back crowns. Well, Gary Mattis will get another chance against Muscatiello. He's been the Otters' best player in this series. Ready batter, seven hits on the series, including a run today. Scoring back in the fourth. Ready on ready matchup, Muscatiello home. Outside, 1-0. 12-3 Quebec in the bottom of the ninth. The Otters will need the, the greatest comeback in Frontier League history here to win their third championship. 1-0. Flight right side, racing over Gideon. He's under the baseball and makes the catch. The edge of the warning track, one away. Yomar Reyes comes to the plate, one out in the bottom of the ninth, 12 to three, Quebec. Reyes, a two RBI double in the fourth for the Otters, two strikeouts, one for three. 
Another ready on ready matchup, the pitcher. Reyes chops it off the end of the bat, fair ball, chopping in front of home plate, picked up by Moscatiello, throw to first, takes White off the bag. And Reyes is safe, throw for Moscatiello was a little bit right to the bag, White couldn't keep his foot on. And Reyes is aboard at first on an infield single. So Reyes at first, Ethan Skinder comes to the plate, 0 for 2 today, two strikeouts tonight for Skinder, who's had a great postseason as well, a hit in all seven games of the postseason for the Otters. Another ready on ready matchup, George Khalil's on deck, then the top of the order. 12-3 Quebec, pitch home, fastball outside, 1-0. Champagne was on ice last night for Quebec. They couldn't close it out. Honor scoring two runs in the bottom of the eighth for a 3-2 win. It's going to take an absolute disaster here for Quebec not to win tonight. The 1-0 misses low. Two balls and no strikes. Trying to go back to back. It's only been three done three times in Frontier League history. 2-0 home. Popped up behind home plate and out of play. The Richmond Roosters, now defunct, went back to back, 2001 and 2002. Windy City did it in 2007 and 2008, the Thunderbolts only champions, and then last done by the Schaumburg Boomers in 2013 and 2014. Two one home, popped up by Skinder on the infield. Two gray jerseys running in, Valentin the shortstop will call off pro bar, and make the catch at the chest. He puts up the finger of one. Quebec is an out away from the 2023 championship. He'll be down to the Australian shortstop, George Khalil. 0 for 2, hit by a pitch in the third, scored after reaching on an air in the fifth. Quebec's on the top step of the dugout. They've got media members scattered all around them ready to film the magical moments. Muscatiello home. Fouled straight back, 0-1. Two outs, one on, 12-3 Quebec in the bottom of the ninth. Oh one. Swing and a miss by Khalil. Fastball up, 0-2. Mascatiello set to the chest, looks back at second, winds and fires, popped up by Khalil, left side, out of play. One more strike for Quebec. Mascatiello takes off the hat, puts it back on, tosses the ball up in the air and steps back on the hill. The little ready in the right-handed batter's box. The 0-2. Poked down the right field line, racing over White. Gideon coming over, it will drift out of play. Off the bossy field roof. We'll do the 0 2 again. O2. Popped up by Khalil behind home plate and out of play. And only fitting the Otters. Down to their last at bat. We'll have a long, tough fight. Evansville has not quit all season. So many times being punched to the canvas. Ascatiello peering in, looking for the final strike to send Quebec to another championship. The pitch. Inside it hit Khalil. Curve ball off the left shoulder. And there's two on with two out. Reyes to second, Khalil at first. It brings up the Frontier League Rookie of the Year, Noah Myers, for one last at bat on his season. Right 
Myers is 0 for 3 today. He walked back in the fifth, an unforgettable season for the Otters, the third ever Otter to be named Frontier League Rookie of the Year. Pitch home, Myers fouls it off the screen. Two on, two out, bottom of the ninth, 12-3 Quebec. The Capitals are one out away from winning back-to-back -back championships. A one. Lined left side, out of play, 0-2. Oh Mascottiello readies at the chest, the pitch. Grounded right side and foul. Twelve runs on 14 hits tonight for Quebec. And out away from winning the winner take all game five here in the championship series. Oh two again. Outside. Strike three. Deja vu for the Quebec Capitales. Back to back Frontier League champions. The fourth team in Frontier League history to go back to back. Quebec hoists the crown for a second straight season. And the Evansville Otters fall one game short of a championship. The second Frontier League title in the history of Quebec in just their third year for the franchise. Their ninth total professional baseball title in franchise history with seven of them in the Can-Am League. Patrick Scalabrini, one of the legends in independent baseball, wins another championship with the Quebec Capitals. 12 to three the final, 12 runs on 14 hits, two errors for Quebec, three runs on four hits, no errors for Evansville. Dogpile to the left of the mound for Quebec. Gatorade bath and the yellow championship shirts already being put on for Quebec. What a great series this was, an anticlimactic ending though. And the Otters certainly shocked so on the top step of the dugout, just gazing out at the field and Quebec's celebration, a, a really riveting series. Two walk-offs in Quebec by the Capitals. Otters hit six home runs in an electric offensive performance on Friday night, forcing a game four. The Wild come back last night for the Otters with two runs in the bottom of the eighth to win 3-2 and force this winner-take-all game five. But it was all Quebec tonight. Capitals got a run across in the first. Tommy Seidel at a two-run blast in the second. David Glow to solo homer in the later in the second. And then two more came across. Jonathan Lacroix to two RBI double in the third to make it 6-0 Quebec. Otters cut the lead to three. Yomar Reyes at a two RBI double in the fourth. Otters got another in the fifth. Yohan Castillo worked a couple nice innings for the bullpen for the Otters. But Quebec put the ball game away. In the sixth inning, it was Seidel again, who's had a fantastic series. He started it with a double down the line. Castro, Bird, and Profar, all with RBI hits. Four in the sixth for Quebec. They added a little more on with two more in the seventh to finish off the championship. And Frank Mascottiello, one of the best pitchers all season for Quebec, closing out the ball game. Win will go to Abdiel Saldana, who is the best starter all year for Quebec, probably only appropriate for the Capitals. Incredibly talented team, bullpen depth, lights out starting rotation. It was their offense that was a struggle at times for Quebec. We'll listen in to Commissioner Steve Dashler. Your original honor manager, Boots Day, back in 
attendance and to all the fans that have been coming out to Bosley Field for all the many years. Evansville showed this weekend why you are the pride of the Frontier League and why we are so proud and we talk about so much that Frontier League Baseball, Evansville, Indiana is the best example. Thank you for your atmosphere, your energy, and your enthusiasm all season long. And it is now my honor to present for the second consecutive season and for an independent baseball record ninth time to the Quebec Capitals, the 2023 Frontier League Championship Trophy. Commissioner Steve Tashler with some really kind words. support this entire season. It was a tremendous way, as Zane mentioned, we set a record for championship series attendance to the fans in Quebec City, the fans in Evansville, and people throughout the U.S. and Canada that watched us on Flow Sports. We appreciate your support this season and look forward to another tremendous campaign coming up in May. Thanks to Commissioner Steve Tashler, who's done an incredible job here with the Frontier League, running the largest independent baseball league in the country. No surprise, Ruben Castro, as I mentioned multiple times, the runaway winner for MVP in the series. He was the best player in the second half of the season for Quebec. Easily the best player in the playoffs, and he wins second straight year, the MVP of the playoffs. Well, the last two years it's been for the Puerto Rican catcher. He's a special player to watch, and Quebec continues to be a special organization here at Steve Tashler's Say It. Now nine championships, an independent baseball record, most championships as an organization. I think the Frontier League championships, though, are worth a lot more. Can-Am League was a small league. Teams in the Northeast in Canada. Frontier League, biggest independent baseball league in the country with 16 teams. Quebec goes back to back. The first time since Schaumburg did it in 2013 and 2014, but the league wasn't this big back then. The Champagne Shower starting for Quebec. What a season for the Capitals. They win back-to-back -back championships. So on the other side for the Otters, their season comes to an end one game short of the championship. The Otters back in the Frontier League Championship for the first time since 2016. Mentioned this during the game, the Otters were just one in nine since winning the championship in 2016. Just one in nine in the playoffs and making this run was big for the organization in terms of just confidence playoff wise for Evansville. It's meant a lot though for the Otters and it's, it's heartbreaking to watch right now. The Otters have not left the dugout yet. Most of them are just still standing on the top step of the dugout watching the Quebec celebration and it was quite a season, quite a magical run for the Otters but it makes it all the more painful to be, go all the way to the brink and fall just short and Patrick Scalabrini walking over for Quebec. Gonna do handshakes, maybe not. It's been a hard fought series between these two and the Otters, you know, it, it's, to be honest, for, for most of the season, for me personally, I've watched every inning of every single 105, 100 games this season. 
This team's ceiling was high, but this never felt like an Otters team that was gonna make a run to the championship series because after their eight game win streak in May, they never, they never really got hot. The Otters played a lot of 500 baseball, 13 and 12 in June, 12 and 11 in July, 14 and 14 in August. They were very consistent, which was impressive. The Otters were 29 and 14 coming off of losses. They only were swept once. Quebec was the other team to do that and they only had three losing streaks of three games or more all season, which is incredible. And in part because of that, you felt the Otters' ceiling was very high because this team just kept on finding ways to win when they needed to. But they, it took a while for them to really hit the top gear. And finally in August, the offense really, it felt like, found its best. The pitching, on the other hand, though, struggled more in August. And you still wondered the Otters Make it into the playoffs. Things got a little interesting. Lost a few games at Gateway, low point of the season. Got walked off back-to-back -back games in a doubleheader. And a really memorable night. Tim Holgrafer, who was great all season for the Otters, pitched a nine-inning complete game shutout. That clinched it for the Otters, finishing 52-44 and 44 in the regular season. And then it was a matter of could they finally get that monkey off the back, win a playoff game, the wild card game against Schaumburg. Otters winning a close one, four to three. Really just how the Otters like it, a low scoring game. And then the Gateway Grizzlies were certainly the heavy favorite in the West. Grizzlies had been in first place all season long, just an electric offense, really good pitching. And the Otters with one of the, what I'm told, one of the best games anyone's seen here at Bossy Field in a long, long time in game one of that series. Kona Quiggle, a two run walk off home run for Evansville in game one. So the first walk-off at home all season. It was the first walk-off homer for the Otters since 2017 here at Bossy Field. And to do it in the playoffs is about as unforgettable as it gets. Otters would lose game two, but then one Sunday ago winning game three, holding on in a 9-7 thriller. That was really a showcase of the Otters' offense clicking. And then it was on to this championship series and... Really, this was the only game tonight you look at where the Otters, where they didn't play well. Evansville has to look back with some regret. Both games in Quebec, losing on walk-off 7-6, had leads in the ninth inning, and both of them couldn't win. But something about the magic of the Stad Canuck, it's an incredible atmosphere up in Quebec. And Capitals walked off both games in the championship series last year, able to walk off and win both games in the championship series this year. The Otters though, it's you know, kind of said it, they punched back every time there was a low point, never let a losing streak really extend and spiral. This team stayed calm all season, did the same thing. Came back here, hit the lights out of the ball, six home runs in game three, a crazy comeback last night in the eighth for two runs. But tonight, really the, the pitching that the Otters have struggled a little bit more in August, had a couple starting pitching issues. A couple guys in the bullpen struggled more and a staff that was the best in the Frontier League the first three months struggled in August. And that came back to bite them tonight. The pitching staff was never the same in the playoffs. The Otters offense clicked. But if you look at one thing for the Otters season, it was the pitching staff that just in the latter half of the year could not click. And that ended up costing them one game short of a championship. Nonetheless, for the Otters, Best season since 2016, they fall one shy of the championship, and it's a young core for Evansville, especially offensively. Noah Myers, what a season, and uh, there's no doubt this coaching staff believes, I believe, a lot of people believe he should be picked up by an affiliated organization. Certainly hope Noah moves up to the next level because he will make a organization very, very happy. Not surprise me to see him in the big leagues one day, but there's a lot of other young pieces around this Otters team Going forward for Evansville, Ethan Skinder, Kona Quiggle, Gary Mattis had such a great postseason and veteran leaders like Jeffrey Baez, Dakota Phillips could be back for more for Evansville offensively. And pitching wise for the Otters too, there's obviously a lot to be excited about for next season. Tim Olgrafer had a great year, certainly a veteran for the Otters. Parker Brahms, Evansville hopes can get healthy and so many talented arms in the Otters bullpen with Leone De La Cruz, Jake Polancic, Kevin Davis and the pitching for the first three months, the reason the Otters got here, Evansville had the best DRA, really all the best pitching numbers in the league the first three months were special in May in that eight game win streak. Bullpen didn't allow a run for the Otters in that 
almost entirety of that eight game win streak. Starting pitching was the best in the league for almost the whole season as well for the Otters. And bring back the, the pluses from the offense and a lot of your top arms pitching wise. This is gonna be a really good Evansville team again next year and you expect nothing but the less from Andy McCauley who will go into his 15th season next year. And one thing to look out next season, no, it's a long way off in May, but Andy McCauley is closing in on the winningest manager in Frontier League history. He should be able to break the record. He's in single digits. I think in the first month, Andy McCauley will become the winningest manager in Frontier League history. And I know, as I kind of start my thank yous, I guess I'll start with Andy McCauley. You look at the success of the Otters, and I talked a lot about the stability of this team, and it starts with the coaching staff, and it starts with the manager, Andy McCauley. He's been here for 14 seasons. He is the rock of this team and the rock of his organization, and he's not just a great coach, but genuinely, genuinely a great human being behind the scenes. Lucky to call him a friend and just someone that will make you smile. He's always, always friendly, always wants to make you smile, always is gonna reach out to you. And the culture that Andy McCauley has created here in Evansville has led to both a winning culture, but also a culture of a well-run franchise that's just fun to work with. The rest of the Otters coaching staff, pitching coach Max Peterson leading an, <laughs> an, exit sta an excellent staff all season. Bobby Siegel, the I Otters hitting coach, and Billy Easley, the Otters catching coach and assistant as well. Just. His entire coaching staff has been together since 2021. Max Peterson, Bobby Siegel, and Andy McCauley all together since 2016. This is easily the most stable franchise coaching-wise in the league, and it continues to show year in and year out. And it's not just Skip, but Max and Billy and Bobby, genuine pleasures to be around every day. And, and my travels in the league over these past four months, it's, it's not just me who loves the coaches uh, everywhere we go. Andy and the rest of the coaching staff is seeing groundskeepers and clubbies and players and front office staff that they're seeing again and recollecting with. And it's it's so much fun to just travel around the league with this staff and, and get to see get to see the faces light up of where we go of getting to excited that the Otters are back in town and they get to see this Otters coaching staff. So it's really not just speak, it's genuine. This Otters coaching staff is the best in the league and, and some of the greatest people in the league as well. And, and that's where this team starts at and this team's success and stability all season long is because of the Otters coaches. I want to give a big thank you to the Otters players. It's, uh, it's not always easy traveling with a pesky broadcaster that wants information and then goes and talks about you on the air and isn't always complimentary when things are going bad. And, uh, this Otters team has an incredible culture and, and so many incredible human beings on it that are going to do great things in life outside of baseball as well. And just want to thank it really all the Otters players for putting up with me all season, being being friends when I needed to be there on the road, and and also just putting together a team that was fun to watch and fun to call every single day, a team that never quit, and a team I know the Evansville community was incredibly, incredibly proud of. A lot of other people for me to thank. I'll, I'll try not to go on too long, but got to start with the director of communications here at the Evansville Otters, Matthew Will. He was the voice of the Otters last season. I have my job because of Matthew. Uh, Matthew puts in longer hours than almost anyone here at the ballpark. I don't know how he does it. He doesn't seem to sleep or eat, and he is the reason social media and marketing and these broadcasts happen and, and pretty much anything you see online of the Otters is because of Matthew Will and... Just incredibly thankful for everything he's done for me this season, and the Otters are in incredible hands with Matthew going forward. I want to thank everyone else in the Otters front office, General Manager Travis Painter, Assistant General Manager Nolan Vandegrift, everyone else, interns, staff with the Otters. It's been a genuine pleasure working with so many people here at Bossy Field, and everyone talks about the magic of Bossy Field, but it, it's because of the people. and Truly, it's a, it's a special place to go to work every day, and the longest tenured organization in the league. It, things are working the right way because of so many incredible people here at Bossy Field that make it possible. And we've talked about a lot of a lot of them on the air as the season ends. Groundskeeper Dan Klusner, Bryson Moore runs food and beverage, Benny Garrett, Cam Ellison, the two clubbies here make really everything happen for the players and take care of them. The Bat Boys, so many people, ushers, concessions workers, 
This only happens because there's so many be people behind the scenes and you never see them, but uh, truly incredibly thankful to everyone that makes everything happen at Bossy Field with the Otters all season long. I want to thank our incredible production team, Ian Klingler, our director tonight, our camera ops, Michael Rust, John L. Smith, and it was great to have Austin Hernandez back as well. We've had so many talented directors, camera operators that have worked on Flow Sports this season, and the reason I sound good and the reason the pictures look great is because of everyone behind the scenes that's done an incredible job all season long and really lucky to be working with so many incredible people up here in the Otters press box and make these broadcasts possible. Probably going to forget some people to thank, but really the last people I want to thank is you tuning in back at home. The Otters, as Steve Tashler mentioned, a commissioner in his speech, have some of the best fans in the league. The crowds every night, electric, the super fans tuning in every game on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. It's a long season, the Frontier League, 105 games over the last four months, and all of this, the broadcast, the games, the players playing is only done because of the fans and their passion and their belief and their support and Something that drew me to, to Evansville was knowing the support and the passion that's here in Bossy Field. It's truly a, a special place, especially to be a sports organization because there's so much support here from the community on a daily basis. And just grateful to everyone that's come up to me and, and let me know they've tuned in over the course of the season and, and like what they've heard. And that, that guides me and, and fuels me over the course of the season. I know it does the players and the staff when they show up at the ballpark and you have the big rowdy crowds, uh, it truly, truly makes a difference. I forgot some people, surely, so anyone anyone else I forgot, the Otters with the Frontier League, thank you, thank you so much for everything you've done for me and this organization this past year and, and truly this magical ride here in the playoffs over the last two weeks for the Otters as it falls just one win short, Quebec winning the Frontier League title 12-3. I'll leave you with this. Baseball is a game of poetry. It's a game of, of rhythm and magic, a long summer, 105 games, an up and down journey, and there's something special, something special about baseball and the magic that's unlike any other sport. And as magical as this playoff run was for me, and I know for so many fans and players, there's there's something magical on the the Thursday evening on a perfect night in June and the, the grounder hit to the left side and a clean 5-3 play made, the 6-4-3 ending ending double play or a ground rule double to right. Those simple plays make the magic happen. And for so many Otters this season, this is a, a, a mark in the road for them. For some, they're getting married. For some, this might be the end of the career and start of a new life. And for others, this may be a stepping stone up to bigger and better things. But for one summer and one season, they had a magical journey of ups and downs. Every time this team was punched in the face, knocked down to the canvas, they got up with another punch of their own, whether it was starting pitching with Tim Holgrafer, Braden Scott, Parker Brahms. It was in a lights out bullpen with Kevin Davis, Jake Polancic, Leone De La Cruz, or it was this Otters offense that got hot at the right time, led by Frontier League Rookie of the Year, Noah Myers, All-Stars, Yomar Reyes, Jeffrey Baez, Dakota Phillips. This was a special team that, through all of the ups and downs and the poetry of baseball, will be a summer that these players will never forget. I hope for you, as fall descends, the days get darker, the nights the days get colder, and it will feel a long, long time off till May in the next Frontier League title. You, you hold the moments and the journeys of this season with you in, in your hearts and in your minds as you get through a long and cold winter because the magic of baseball will be back again in May, and we can't wait until opening day in another eight months. Thank you again to everyone that's made these broadcasts possible and thank you to everyone in the Frontier League where Quebec has signed off for the last broadcast on the air in the Frontier League so truly thankful to everyone in the Frontier League broadcasters commissioner that I've got to work with and uh, for everyone in the Frontier League it's been another incredible season as Quebec 
wins the championship back-to-back -back titles 12 to 3 win for the capitals over the otters tonight stay tuned social media for the frontier league and the otters for updates on schedules now oh, that should be coming out next month and you can start looking ahead to 2024 the final score here on the final totals tonight quebec 12 runs on 14 hits two errors evansville three runs on four hits and no errors Quebec back-to-back -back champions Patrick Scalabrini and his veteran squad does it again. A dominant performance in game five to win the winner-take-all championship series. For our entire crew here at Posse Field across the Frontier League all season long, our director tonight, Ian Klinger, Idor's director of communications, Matthew Will, our camera ops tonight, Michael Rust, Austin Hernandez, and John Smith. I've been Griffin Epstein all season long, over 105 games on the Otters Digital Network and Flow Sports. Final score, Quebec 12, Evansville 3. The Otters season ends one win short of a championship. Someone will talk to you again in May. Good night from Evansville.